Hello. Hello. Hi, guys. How's it going? So, welcome to the stream. Uh, literally, as I was starting the stream, uh, Nintendo announced some Game Boy, announced some new virtual console games. Um, so, why don't I pull those up? One sec. All right, so hmm. I think I never had a maybe I never had a browser capture in here. Well, that's okay. One sec. Okay, so when I play this in the background and share my thoughts, so the first thing I revealed was Kirby Tilt and Tumble. Um, I think so. Kirby Tilt and Tumble. Um. I guess th this was this was already like teased, right? <clears throat> when they first revealed uh, Game Boy Virtual Console, um, they they said Kirby Tilt and Tumble was was coming. I think too slow. I guess uh, they said Kirby Tilt and Tumble was already coming, so we knew it was coming. Um, and I think I've already said. I think I've already said before that the most exciting thing about Tilt and Tumble for me is the fact that uh, Tilt and Tumble means means that Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games with motion controls, uh, you know, are on the table when it comes to these Nintendo Switch Online releases. So I'm glad Kirby Tilt and Tumble is here, but mostly just because it has me excited for WarioWare Twisted. Like, that's it. Like, that's the most exciting thing about it to me. Blaster Master Enemy Below? Um, it's, uh, you know, it's fine. Uh, it's cool that Sunsoft and Nintendo still have, like, a relationship when it comes to NSO games. Um... Because I think Sunsoft has the rights to, like, some cool games for the Game Boy, so maybe we'll see those eventually. Harvest Moon, uh, this is another thing where the most interesting thing about it isn't the game itself. Um, Harvest Moon is a game that Natsume technically doesn't have the rights to anymore. Um, Natsume, the, uh, the guys that published Harvest Moon uh, since the Super Nintendo games, right? Since the Super Nintendo days, um, lately, if you've seen a Harvest Moon game, that is, uh, that is a like a ripoff game made by the people that own the rights to the name Harvest Moon, that being Natsume. And if you see a game called Story of Seasons coming out, that is actually a continuation of modern day Harvest Moon games. So it's cool. Uh, to see Harvest Moon here because um, Harvest Moon released on the Japan Virtual Console like ages ago, like like eons ago, um, and it didn't come out here presumably because Natsume has the rights to the Harvest Moon name but not the Harvest Moon games anymore. So the fact that Harvest Moon is has been released here that means that Marvelous and Natsume struck some kind of deal and that maybe we'll see other Harvest Moon games coming to the NSO here in the U.S. 
Um, and that's neat, even if Stardew Valley kind of does this shit better these days. And Mystery Tower. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, a, a, a puzzle game. Um, yeah, this this honestly kind of seems like a filler title. I don't know if anyone's excited for this. Um, but Namco is still hanging with Nintendo. They're still doing NSO games. And that means that maybe we'll see some cool, like, Namco virtual console games for, uh, for Game Boy and Game Boy Advance. So, you know, that's, um, oh yeah, let's see, uh, ha, yeah, look at that. Harvest Moon has several credits on it. One of them is Natsume, but another is Marvelous. Um, and it does outline that Harvest Moon, the name, is a registered trademark of Natsume Incorporated. So that's, you know, that's kind of cool. Natsume and Marvelous did kind of make nice in order to release this on, uh, on the U.S. Virtual Console. Um, so is, oh, what, what was the, what was the release date for this? When is, when is this hitting? Oh, today. They're coming out tonight. They're just, they're just shadow dropping. That's cool. Um, so yeah, uh, is this an exciting list of games on its own? No, <laughs> not really. I don't think I'd be playing any of these on stream. Besides, I guess there's a chance of Kirby Tilt and Tumble. There's a chance of me trying that out on stream. Um, yeah, all of these feel very, yep, those are games tier releases. Yeah, um, also, I appreciate, like, the precedent. I appreciate, like, um, I appreciate that, like, when we get new NSO releases, it's probably going to be two Game Boy games, one Super Nintendo game, one NES game. I like that as a pattern. What I don't like is that um, <laughs> it's going to take us like three months to get four Nintendo Switch Online games. They're going to do that once per quarter. That's that's going to be excruciating. That's going to... Yeah, that's... I... Especially because they're, it feels like they're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel when it comes to NES games at this point. Um, at least, like, at least maybe there's hope that we'll get, like, Super Mario RPG or, like, something cool on the Super Nintendo side. It feels like they're out of NES games that are both exciting and legally feasible. So, uh... So, yeah, that that's not... having Having to wait three months for new Game Boy games, new, like, you know, Game Boy vanilla games, that's... that wait, it will kill me, I think. There's also the question of when they release the Zelda Oracle games, will that count as one Game Boy game or two Game or, you know? Will they release both at the same time and will, will those just be the two Game Boy games for that quarter? Um... My guess is that yes, it will. <laughs> and, and that'll be annoying. One thing I do like is that um, is that it seems like the pattern will be when they release the two Game Boy games per quarter, it'll probably usually be one Game Boy game that they said was coming soon and one Game Boy game that they haven't announced at all. So there will be at least one Game Boy surprise every three months and actually it's technically more than three months i think right like the the last batch was the end of february we're at the beginning of june so that's like three months in a week yeah so that uh that is both a fine lineup and also one that's kind of kind of a bummer um yeah i guess those are my my current thoughts on that wait till they release only pokemon red one quarter <laughs> i think whenever they release pokemon games we will get like the duo we'll get the pair um i think the earliest we're getting those is 2024 um 
I think the good news is there is that um, those probably won't be tied to quarterly releases, right? When they release Pokemon, when they release the Pokemon games, if they release the Pokemon games, I guess, right? Like maybe, maybe that's actually an if at this point. But if they release the Pokemon games, I feel like those will be released. Those will be like shadow dropped during Pokemon Directs, right? Like we'll get we'll get Pokemon Red and Blue on February twenty seventh, and then and then the next the next quarterly release will be independent of that. That's my guess. That's my prediction. Uh, tune tune in next year to see if that comes true. <laughs> that That is kind of funny that literally, like, as I hit, like, the go live button, as I hit the start streaming button, that announcement rolls in. So I, uh, so you basically got to see me. I, I watched the video, like, while we were in starting soon mode. Um, just because... I'm weirdly invested in NSO releases. I'm weirdly, like, I I just want Nintendo to release more of their old games and to release them faster. That's all I want. It doesn't seem I'm really gonna get that. Um, feels feels like maybe I'm holding my breath a bit. NSO releases feel like an abusive relationship. <laughs> yeah, they know they they used like they they used to be you got a decent amount of them on a monthly basis. And now and now you get one Game Boy Advance game and one Nintendo 64 game alternating every other month unless you get three ports of Mario games that are already on the system that are already on NSO that are already on a cheaper version of NSO. Then you get three at the same time. What a deal. What a deal. 50 bucks a month. I'm expecting something different, but they'll never change. <laughs> now we're absolutely pining for shit like Glover. Oh man. Um, actually I was, I was going to say, don't get your hopes up for Glover. Uh, but uh, Pico Interactive has the rights to Glover right now, and Pico Interactive, their whole thing is just giving licenses, like, over to other companies, uh, like, you know, kind of renting them out. Um, there are some Pico Interactive games on Nintendo Switch Online and Nintendo on and NES Online. On Yeah, Super Nintendo and NES Online, there's some Pico Interactive games... That Pico didn't have the rights to back in the day, and they do have the rights to now. Um, yeah, there's some of those are on NSO already. So I think Glover, um, before this service dies, you could see Glover. Maybe. Have we seen a single N64 game that isn't first party on the service yet? Well, yes. Uh, yeah, we, we've had a few, right? We've had Winback. Uh, we've had Banjo-Kazooie, which, you know, which was Nintendo first party at the time, but it certainly isn't anymore. And uh, Japan is getting Harvest Moon 64. And maybe, maybe America's getting Harvest Moon 64. Oh, and Goldeneye, right, Goldeneye. Right. And uh and yeah, those are first ish party. Um 
Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, Har- Harvest Moon, at least. Um, like, Japan's getting to that, and that is staunchly third party. So, you know, may- <laughs> maybe in 2024 we'll start getting... We'll start getting more third party N64 games, and Glover will be in there somewhere. All right, well, that's uh, that's the monthly Daniel gets depressed about the state of Nintendo Switch Online portion of the stream. Um, now, I'm going to play a game called Set Beast. Boot the sucker up. So Cassette Beast is... Oh, crunch. I should turn that down a bit. Quarterly Daniel gets the press about NSO part of the stream. Hey, uh, N64 and GBA games alternate every month. So, you know, tune in at the beginning of July when they put out the next N64 game and I get to press about that. This is Cassette Beast. Should I turn this down a bit? Or should I turn myself down a bit? One day NSO expansion will be worth it copium. <laughs> um, one day, like we were start, we were finally like at a point now where like NES and SNES, like on regular, uh, Nintendo Switch Online, we're finally at a point where those feel, like, kind of worth it, right? Like, most of the big, important stuff is on there at this point. Um, and, uh, and they do bring out some fun, like, deep cuts still on the service every now and then. Game might be here loud. That's what I was worried about. How's that? And, as a matter of fact, how's this? Um... Uh, um, yeah, like, we're, we're finally at a point where N- NES and N- and uh, Super NES have, like, kind of a respectable outing. Um, and, like, N64 is starting to get the cool shit. Volume is good now, MO, awesome. N64 is starting to get the cool shit, right? Like, we, we got, we got Banjo, we got Goldeneye. Um, you know, got some Pokemon stuff on there. That's all pretty neat. That C flat was okay. Oh, thank you. Um, I appreciate it. (coughs) I think it's getting worse. Um, Yeah, so, you know, what's what's kind of a bummer is that when when N64 happened, we were getting new games monthly. Um, but now they've got GBA out here, and G, we're getting GBA bi-monthly. Like, we, like, the drip feed keeps getting worse. Get Sean in here, he might save the C-flat. John! Give me a C-flat. He's not here. He's not here, man. Um, Yeah, like... They've managed to create a situation where you have more NSO systems than ever. And it feels like the releases are happening slower than ever. They're actually technically not, but because they're happening at the same pace, and they're just spreading that pace across more systems, everything feels super slow now, release-wise. I like NSO plus Expansion Pass, but I know it's not a great deal. They could really attract more people with game DLC. Imagine throwing throwing Torna on there, or a new DLC, like... 
Tears of the Kingdom's inevitable expansion. Don't worry, everyone. One plus two Switch has a sequel coming up that'll save this release calendar. <clears throat> Holy shit. Um... On the expansion thing, um, trust. <laughs> In terms of the expansion thing, I do think there's a decent chance that, uh, that the Terrors of the Kingdom expansion... Well, no, never mind. No, I don't. Um, NSO, because NSO Online Expansion Pack does give us DLC expansions for free sometimes, right? Um, for free, for no additional cost. Um, but when they do, it is generally for games that have an online multiplayer component. Like the Mario Kart expansion pack. Uh, um, the Splatoon 2 Octo expansion was a single player expansion, actually. So... Yeah, I think it's just more that they've kind of, uh, they've kind of stopped doing that. I didn't end up wanting the Xenoblade 3 expansion because it only gave two heroes with classes you can use, and a more into gameplay satisfaction and story. Yeah, all right. Um. Yeah, they've just kind of stopped giving us like free expansions. They're like, you get. You get Mario Kart. You get more Mario Kart courses and characters. This this has all the value you could want. We're done. Um, which uh, which I think is kind of a bummer. Um, because yeah, they they had the opportunity to give us the Splatoon three DLC as part of the expansion pass, not happening. The Fire Emblem Engage DLC not happening. Didn't happen. Because Mario Kart and Splatoon will require NSO for multiplayer. That's true. Even though the Octo expansion is single player, Splatoon itself has a multiplayer, has an online multiplayer component. So I guess that still applies. Which means that unless, unless Tears of the Kingdom's inevitable DLC is, is a, uh, is an online multiplayer DLC component, we're not getting that as part of the expansion pass. We need They need a whole extra wave of the DLC stuff, like Splatoon 3, Luigi's Mansion 3. It doesn't have to be new, but at least something. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 had, like, <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 3 did have multiplayer DLC, and we never got that on expansion pass. That is kind of a bummer. They just need to make the expansion, the Tears of the Kingdom expansion into Fortnite. <laughs> Well, you shit. I the components are there. The components are there. <laughs> Dropping into high rule, boys. Like, <laughs> like yeah, they could just like, God, just a bunch of links like running around like frantically like building like max. I think I think the engine could not handle it. I think the engine could not handle more than one link doing that at a time. It would like collapse. Deception drop. But we are kind of overdue. Oh, the game is locked to 12.5 frames per second online. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's a good fix. Yeah, it does kind of feel like they're past the point where they're giving us, like, new games on NSO. I wonder if they've... I, I wonder if they've kind of given up on, like, trying to add more value to the service. You know, like, maybe they're like, oh yeah, we'll just put Mario Kart on the service and see the numbers go up like crazy. And then the numbers didn't go up like crazy, and they were like, okay. Uh... 
<laughs> we'll put one Game Boy Advance game on there every two months and uh, start putting our start coming up with other services that'll make us more money. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be squad support and each player only gets one rune. There's something there actually. There there's something there. Like that that that's actually something. Like you know, you can have your ascend player be like the scout, right? Like he can like ascend up into like locations that none of the other players can get into, get into and then you'll have like this high ground and be able to scope out any other teams like coming you know like like coming to get them um and you have like you have the recall player like uh like they also high, kind of have a traversal ability um And then you have the fuse player, like, as kind of support, because they have to fuse shit onto everyone else's weapons, right? Like, protect the fuser, because he's going to give you your buffs. And then, uh... And then, you know, and then the, the, the guy who moves the shit. Do you really want to play Nintendo Overwatch, Daniel? <laughs> This is honestly this feels more like Nintendo Apex Legends. This isn't Overwatch. This is this is more Apex. I should cancel NSO actually. I play Smash much less now. Um yeah, that's fair. I was about to be like, when was the last time I used Nintendo Switch Online? Pretty recently. I uh I streamed Kirby Dreamland. I streamed Kid Chameleon. I need it for stream content. I need it for streams. But maybe if I wasn't streaming, I wouldn't need it so much. Zelda Legends. <laughs> Legend of Zelda Legends. Lozdal. And Terror Raids in Pokemon are high on our. Tear Raids and Pokemon are on hiatus since they broke? Really? Wow. Don't you, my excellent name. It's been 18 days since the last Terror Raid. Whoa. And that was what? That was just like a rerun of, uh... Of uh, of prehistoric Suicune and and Robot Verizian, right? Which I'm I've I've missed both runs of that. Zero announcements of them coming back. I'm I'm sure that I'm sure that once the not even it was the Donphan Paradox Pokemon. Oh wow. Um, I'm sure that the hiatus will end by the time the first DLC expansion comes out, right? Because I'm sure, I'm sure they've got Terror Raid plans for, for the DLC locations. Their items made the game crash with a 5% drop rate? <laughs> Between this and what's happening with the Japan tournaments in TPC Korea, they're really dropping the ball in an unbelievable way. Watch them be broken with that expansion, yeah. What's what's happening with the Japan tournaments? TPC Korea, that doesn't I I feel like I can Saw some raids where people got a nothing as an item. <laughs> Whoa! I didn't know about this stuff. Great Tusk, Iron Treads, and Chestnut Terror Raids all suspended. It's a mess. Huh. Well, they'll have to fix that by the time the next expansion comes out, won't they? 
and uh, and this is around when it's supposed to come out, right? Like I think they said summer 2023, right? So I'm sure we'll hear more news soon, but that that the silence right now does suck. Fall, okay. Well, then I guess prepare for some more silence. <laughs> Right, fall 2023 for the first part, and like holiday 2023 for the second part. That sounds right. But yeah, I don't know what happened with the, um... With the Japan tournaments. Oh! Right on, right on cue. The Japan and Korea tournaments all got messed up with people unable to get out of the queue, getting rematches, matches not counting, and the Korean tournaments and the Korean tournament finalists all got DQ'd for worlds because they protested the tournament format. Like legit shit show. <laughs> this is why I'm just playing Oras and BDSP now, basically. Oh, getting immediate rematch with the same people they just played. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's... Well... Speaking of Pokemon, speaking of games where you catch monsters and battle with them... Um, I'm playing a game that isn't bungling... Uh... It's... Uh everything it has going on drastically. Uh, it's called Cassette Beast. Um, sure. And, uh... This is... It's got a cute sprite aesthetic, and, uh... It's got... Uh, you can fuse monsters in it, and also you can do, like, social links with the NPCs in the game. And all those things together sounds very intriguing to me. I've This has been, like, a really anticipated game for me for a really long time, so I'm looking forward to playing it. Oh no, more Pokemon stuff. The Korean tournament format is best of one closed team sheet. You can't see their, se you can't see their team one game instead of... Basically, if your opponent has a gimmick, you're toast. Yeesh. But yeah, time for cassette piece. Now rides this knight through the realm to the wilderness of Wirral. Few thereabouts that either God or other with good heart loved. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. Un whoa! Unknown author. Oh shit. Alright, so I'm not making Popeye in this. Just. Use my usual name. Ah, oh, they them as uh as a default is pretty cool. Favorite color. <laughs> Black is not a favorite color option. But red is. Red and black are my favorite colors. Will there be DVDLC? Joke. Oh, the double buns. Those are cute. Again, I'm not making Popeye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the way the hair jumps up and down on the moving sprite. Oh, I like the quiff. I like the, I like kind of the pomp. Okay, if I...
No, I, I don't. Have I have I gone full circle yet? Okay, now I've gone full circle. The amount of uh. The amount of black hair styles is kind of impressive. There being more than two. The small sprite is amazing. I do dig the small sprite. <clears throat> I said on a recent, um, I said on a recent beep boop soup, uh, which is a podcast that I do with my co-host Sean, that if I were an anime character, my anime hair color would be pink. And, uh, And I'd sound like this. I'd have a bit of a James from Pokemon voice. <laughs> that I'm having trouble doing right now because my throat's a little clogged. I'm a little congested. Ooh. Ooh, Pikachu, I'm a bit congested. Um. Afro Puffs, Drads, Cornrows, and Almost Bald are the only black hairstyles that existed before Hogwarts Legacy. Don't you know that? I don't know what hairstyles are in Hogwarts Legacy, and I don't care to. <laughs> Sexy, mysterious Daniel with pink hair. Yes, he's here. Hair accessory color. Um... Hmm. Hold on. Let's see here. What would... Uh, I just want to see what would complement the pink. Green. Green complements the pink. Face, eyeshadow, beard. <laughs> Grumpy. Ooh, I like I like kind of the, the visor. All face mask. Half face paint. How does that look on the Okay. Plain glasses. I can't, can't see how the eye color makes any difference. I'll just do. Let's just do that. Okay. Well, I'm warping. Oh shit, it's Link's Awakening. That's cool that it uh it's like okay he knows how to do those things. We're gonna we're gonna remove those from the uh No. Oh. Wow. Okay. It's a lot of wood.
Hey, stranger, don't make any sudden moves. Traffic crabs don't take kindly to strangers, or anyone for that matter. Here, take this. That, how funky, how funky. Okay, quick question, what's your aesthetic? Hmm, am I spooky or am I sweet? I think I'll have to go with spooky. Because I'm so spooky and mysterious. Oh, the sweet, sweet is cute. Yeah. I can see that. In this case, in that case, take this. Band sheep. The eerie moans of the wild band sheep at night have led many to believe. They're restless undead spirits, but this is untrue. They're very much alive. They just like to have a bit of a wine. Who doesn't? Raise this monster's teeth to five stars to unlock more information. Ooh, bootlegs. All right, now just pop that in your cassette player and put on the headphones and press play. <laughs> this might get a little weird, but follow my lead. Your turn. Don't be shy. Just breathe. You'll adjust in a moment. Right. Right. Let's give him hell. How oh, cool. Alright, there's smack. And sheer luck is a passive ability. Ooh, user's evasion is passively raised in proportion to the amount of HP lost. Spit, dodge, call for help. Oh, that's fun. Chance to summon a, a temporary ally. Just do a spit. Oh, okay. Oh, battering ram, I get it. And plastic. You handle yourself pretty well there. Uh, what's your name? It's Thores. Oh, hello, Kaylee. Nice to make your acquaintance, Thores. Anyway, should probably get you warmed up before you freeze to death in your pajamas. Why am I wearing my pajamas? What do you think? Pretty quaint, right? Where am I? What is this place? Welcome to Harbor Town. <laughs> Your new home. My new home? I already have a home! Ah, uh... oh, right. Yeah, sorry. Not very good at this part. I don't know how best to break the news. And you're stuck here. We all are. I don't feel so great. Oh, oh shit, I forgot to turn off the AC. Wonderful. We're all in the same ship. Floating somewhere without any aim, but at least we're together. As we tether in the as we think that there's no getting out here I don't know you but we'll make the most of wherever we are now. okay you might hear some background noise for a hot sec He's amazing so far. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a cool vibe. That's a cool vibe. Okay, background noise gone. Ah, wonderful! You're awake. 
Kaylee gave me quite a fright when she came knocking at my door. <sighs> you had me scared for a moment, Thoraz. I don't think it's anything serious. Transforming for the first time is quite a shock to the psych. Anyway, Harbor Town happened to have a spare home available for you, so this is your place now. Where on earth is this place? On earth? Kaylee, you haven't told him? Sorry. Sorry, I should have. Not to info dump on you, but you're on an island called New World. Game songs with lyrics, instant 10 out of 10. I love when game songs have lyrics. Like, that is an A plus thing. Yeah, fun fact, uh, there was a point where I wanted to, um, I had an idea for a Twitter project where I would compile a bunch of, uh, video game songs with lyrics, um, and then just, you know, tweet one a day, like, you know, like just, uh, like em embed the song into the tweet and just tweet one a day, um, but, uh, A, it was turning out to be time, kind of a time-consuming project, uh, B, um, this was when Twitter only uh, allowed you to have, like, uh, like, two-minute long videos, so if any, any song with lyrics was longer than that, like, I'd have to post, like, a truncated version, or, like, link to a YouTube video or something. Which felt less fun. And then, uh... And then... Um... Once that finally stopped being an issue, uh... Management on Twitter was so horrendous that I didn't want to... I didn't want to put a lot of time into a Twitter-based project. Simple and clean, live and learn, life light, the fucking DK rap, I mean, seriously, yeah. No, all, all 10 out of 10. All excellent. You're on an island called New World. It's not strictly on Earth. At least that's what we think. Is there a way back home? I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not, Thoraz. I'm so sorry. Castaways have been trying to get back into the world for a century. None have succeeded. <laughs> but, but, but you'll be okay. There's community in Harbor Town, and we help each other out. It's not a bad life. A and it's safe. Well, apart from the monsters. Like the one we fought before? Yeah! I'm actually going on a patrol soon. If you'd like to join me, meet me by the gate. The one just over the bridge we crossed to come into town. In the meantime, feel free to say hi to your new neighbors. I'm pretty sure word has already gotten around that there's a new lad in town. Uh... We also fetch some clothes for you, though they might still be a bit out of fashion for your era. But it's all we have. My era? Sorry, sorry, I'm info dumping. I'll catch you soon, right? You can talk more then if you'd like. Hmm. My clinic is nearby. If you need a checkup, feel free to visit. This all must be a lot to take in, but we all went through the same thing once. New quest. This is the world we live in. Speak to Kaylee at the Harbor Town East entrance. Yeah, but no, I I did have an idea to compile all these video game songs with lyrics. Um, and just like showcase them like on a daily basis right because like yeah like all the stuff you just mentioned but really the like the entire soundtracks of personas three through five um noja has some has some music with the vocals um even like corny shit like street fighter 4 street fighter 6 has some themes with vocals and um, I both love and hate all of them. Uh, um, Dragon's Dogma's fucking original lyrical theme. The handbook that Kaylee left for you. You can read this to review what you learned about life on the island of New World. That's cool. The Warrior World pause music. I've never played Warrior World. 
but I love the fact that it has pause music with vocals. I didn't know that, and that's fantastic. Oh, oh hey! Oh, cool. Oh, you can change your top. Oh. Go with a t-shirt. Wow, that black is not a color. Honestly, look up the pause music right now. I mean, I'm not in charge, but you won't regret it. Um, Wario World is actually, like, you know, I eventually want to stream every WarioWare game that exists. Um, so I feel like I'll save that for when I inevitably play Wario World. Which, to be fair, is kind of... Uh, that's... Out of the Wario games on my list, Wario World is probably lower priority. Um, mainly because I don't have a copy of Wario World, and copies of Wario World are not cheap. Oh. Oh, wait. Right. You get my buttons mixed up. It's a letterbox. How strange that it's indoors where nobody can deliver letters. Check it anyway. This will connect to the internet. The letterbox is empty. There's a keypad at the back. No, will you enter a code? Oh, I heard something about about codes. But we'll, we'll leave that be for now. I miss sports. Why can't Harbor Town start a football team? Well, I suppose there'd be no one to play against. I don't think the giant crabs on the beach have a competitive spirit. Hey, are you new here on the island? The look on your face gives it away. I thought I'd escaped games with stamina meters. Have you been to the west side of Harbor Town yet? I'm meaning to visit the Heritage Center over there. <sighs> I was hoping to cross the bridge, but it's been raised for a while now. That's fine. I can stay on this side of town, I guess. Oop. I didn't think that would work. Hey, Thoris, what can I do for you? Just saying hi. Goodbye. You don't have to get yourself hurt too badly out there, okay? Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Ooh! Oh, I'm so tired. Wore myself right out. Hmm. You're the whole cassette tape transforming thing, huh? A little piece of advice for you. The key is to not think about how it works. Uh, by all accounts, it doesn't make sense. But it does work, so just go along with it. Alright. Alright, this is... this is me. That's where I live. Floating somewhere without any aim. 
It's a box planner. No one's been playing it here yet. Hello, sweetie. Hello, sweetie. You don't have to sign up with the Rangers. You just missed Ianth. She'll be at the outpost in the park. If you go north from the outskirts, you won't miss it. Don't know anything that you're saying right now. That's okay. That's fine. Hey. Hey there, champ. You to work out? How does this work? Sometimes it's not enough just to be good at transforming. Sometimes you just need simply to be stronger. That's where I come in. Give you a custom workout design to adjust the base stats of your human form. That'll affect the strength of your transformations, too. If you decide, for instance, that you need your melee attacks to hit harder, but don't rely on range attacks much, you can move some points from range attacks to melee attacks to do just that. As you advance through your training with the rangers, you'll no doubt find yourself with a few extra points to put towards these base stats. What do you say, champ? Not now. Bye. Bye. Catch you later, champ. Oh. I need to get faster. I want to be able to outrun those crab monsters. Town has always had some sort of community volunteer group. How else would it have stayed in one piece so long? Iant's Rangers are the latest iteration of it. Gathering resources, assessing people's concerns. We do the whole list. Keeping things in order has gotten even tougher since the discovery of the cassette tape phenomenon. But if anyone can use it, if anyone can do it, Iant can. Well, I know that transforming is way more effective in battle, but. Man, I miss the weapons the rangers used to fight with. My aunt's mechanical gear sword was like the most steampunk thing I've ever seen. Interesting that it's instrumental outside and it's lyrical inside. So Ianth is obviously the antagonist, right? Oh, maybe. Well, 101 years this town has stood. Did you know that? I remember what this place looked like as a little girl. The town changes so much, so fast. But the foundations... They've always stayed the same. <laughs> Whatever. Sorry. Sorry, bud. I'll have to come back later to use the elevator. I'm doing a few long overdue repairs. Again, Torres, are you feeling a little better? You know, you held your own the last time we fought together. So, well, I've been given an errand and need a helping hand. Do you think you'll be able to help me out? Errand? I'll explain in just a moment. You see that path there? Well. There's some kind of quake or monster activity last night. You can see the cracks in the ground. We're gonna check the path and make sure it's safe for crossing. Hmm. Here, take the key to the gate. Ooh, the Hobbit Town Gate Key. Oh, cool. I like the physics of you just like shoving the gate open. That's kind of neat. Damn, Kaylee's already like flying. Uh... Right, uh, there's some basics I gotta show you first. I hope you're ready to turn into a monster again. Oh, uh, I guess so. <laughs> You'll adjust in no time. It's like riding a bike. Except, you know, if the bike transformed into a moody, floating sheep. And also, you're the bike. Hmm. You see that creep with the boots? It's a spring heel. That's gonna get aggressive with you if you get any closer. So you're gonna get closer, of course. Well, here I go.
action points. Pay attention to these orange squares. They are action points or AP for short. Most moves, most moves require you to spend some AP. The amount of AP of a move, the amount of AP move cost is shown next to its name. If you don't have enough AP for a move, you'll be able to use it this turn. Each party member gets two AP each turn and an extra one if they land a type advantage attack. You can plan ahead and save up AP for your most powerful attacks by using weak or low AP moves. Ooh, battering ram. Oh, that's cool. Spit does spit doesn't cost any AP. You can use that to kind of save up extra AP for You've taken a bit of a beating, but your monster form can take it. The art for this game is pleasant. Yeah, I really dig the art style. The green bar represents your monster form's health, and the red is yours. If the form loses all of its health in the fight, its tape will break and need repairing. Not only that, but any extra damage from the attack that it broke will play your health, the red bar. If both of us lose all our health, then we'll have to retreat back to Harbor Town. Got that? Yeah. Right. Right. Let's crack on. Is Kaylee supposed to be British? Sonic Boom hits a whole team. That's nice. And I got some more resources that I don't know what they do yet. Yeah. Nice work. Hmm, that elevator should be functioning. There'll be a switch around here to turn it back on. Uh, maybe we'll go in this mine shaft. Oop. Hey. Well, hello. This is interesting. Yeah, this is Cassette Beast. Um, I'm pretty still really early in the game. Um, I made my character, uh, which has, um, it has, you know, some diverse-ish hair options, which is nice. Um, it has, uh, you get to select your pronouns, a uh, decent amount of skin color options. Um, and then I wash up on a beach. Um, told that I'm stranded on a place that isn't Earth, and also been given the power to insert cassettes into a tape player that transforms me into monsters. The type chart of this game is awesome. Yeah, I haven't, um... I haven't, uh... I remember that it is awesome. I don't remember what it's exactly like, and I haven't seen it in-game yet, but, uh... But I do know that the type chart's really cool, and it does some really interesting things that the uh, that Pokemon type chart doesn't. Just looked it up independently, had no idea it was so in depth. Yeah, um, I remember reading some really cool thing about type interactions, and I'm I'm excited to see where that goes and how that's implemented. Yeah, achievement unlocked, Kaylee. Sirenades are particularly loud creatures and can amplify their own singing voices through their microphone tails and wings. They don't seem to have much awareness as to whether or not their singing is too loud for those around them. You know, raises monsters tape to five to unlock more information. Nice. Follow Kaylee's directions. You need a break, Flores. We can rest here if you'd like. These bonfire pits mark areas you're safe to set up camp. 
Gives you a chance to repair your tapes and heal up. Oh, interesting. Resting costs wood. Kaylee engages with you with an enthusiastic discussion on your favorite dog breeds. What's a dog? Maybe Kaylee's also from Earth, we're not sure yet. I, I feel like it's implied that she is from Earth, actually. Come on, it's this way. <laughs> she can fly and I can't yet. There'll be more monsters about, but we can take them. I haven't seen you around before, but let me guess. You washed up pretty recently, didn't you? Oh, is that a cassette player you're holding? Here, take these. Rewind. Oh, neat. I wonder when she's going to teach me how to catch stuff. Uh, come on, it's this way. <laughs> okay, so that's not a way I can go yet, so I should be going up here. There, do you see that monster? There must be a way to get it to come over here. Uh, cute. Okay. Yes! Basic tape records monster forms with a normal efficiency rate. There's something about the monsters on New World. When weakened, their essence can be, well, recorded to cassette tapes. We don't entirely know how it works, but it does. And that's good enough for us. Dominoth. Dominoth. I'll do a little spit just in case that doesn't work out. Ooh. Dominoths see themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodland areas. The only thing that can distract them from their noble from their noble duties are bright lights such as lamps. Whether recording succeeds or not is down to chance, however, several factors affect the probability of success. How much health the monster has, its level and rarity, how much damage you dealt it while recording and how much damage the person recording it took. Buffing your attacks or debuffing the target's defenses can be an effective way to increase the damage you deal the target and improve the odds in your favor. As long as the monster is being recorded, it cannot, be, it cannot flee or be defeated, so you don't need to worry about knocking it out. That's awesome! That's cool. Stickers and moves. The moves you have access to when using a tape in battle are determined by what stickers are attached to the tape. That's rad. That's cool. You give new moves to a tape by applying stickers from your inventory. Moves you don't want can be peeled as stickers and put in your inventory. That's interesting. It's really interesting. So 
Sickers can be used as many times as you want, but can only be applied to a single tape at a time. Sickers can be obtained in a few ways by filling tape's experience point bars from chests or caches you find and from certain merchants that harbor time. Okay, I don't have any spare stickers right now. Ooh, I can rename my guys. Dominoth. Should I rename this thing? Matthew. Mothorazes is cute, though. I didn't see that till it was too late. The stickers are a cool mechanic. It'll be cool to see them. Yeah. Now try switching to the tape you just recorded. how you get yourself new monster forms. However, if a monster takes too much damage, it'll flee, so you won't be able to record it. Are you with me so far? Right. Now let's finish this bug off. Hey, why does, why does that thing have moves that I don't have even though I just recorded it? Zephyr, okay. <laughs> What's happening? Some monster forms give us extra abilities when we record them. Beyond just being able to... Mothwing Glide, you can now hold A to glide across long distances. This consumes your stamina. Sorry. <laughs> Band Sheep. Yeah, Band Sheep's my starter. Um, at the beginning of the game, uh, they asked me if my aesthetic was spooky or cute. Since I'm playing a kind of a, a mysterious, sexy version of myself with pink hair. Um, I'm playing anime me. I, I went with spooky, so I got banned sheep as my starter. Sorry, I should probably have warned you, but I thought it might be a little easier to show you. We can use this glide to get across this gap right here. Well, now I can record whatever I want, like this traffic crab. Ah, shit. Let's try that again. Oh, I lost the tape. Which makes sense. Why would I get to keep the tape after that? Sonic boom, baby. Haha. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Anime use a scary thought. What, you can't take me being any sexier than I already am? Is that what you're saying? The traffic crab's cone isn't actually part of its body. It's merely a traffic cone that has washed up on the shores of New World and has been occupied by the creature. It is said that in the past they would instead find other objects to live inside. Yes, that is what I'm saying. I knew it. I knew it. Now, what should I... Ooh, Traffic Crab is a plastic type. What is the name of this Traffic Crab? I'm gonna name it Jam. Like a traffic jam. Mitchell? Oh, her Mitchell's good. I'm sorry I keep <laughs> I'm sorry I keep missing your your suggestions. I, I make my decisions too quick. Ooh. Oh, I guess I should rest in a second just so I get the uh sharp. Just so I get a uh, Access to. Oh no, poisoned! Poison characters take damage at the end of their turn. No, oh, no. Because I know there's a fusion mechanic, and obviously I want to unlock that as soon as possible. Raise arms. You don't have any arms. Yeah, get out of here. Ooh, Matthew. Oh, cool. So it looks like as long as I have the tapes, they'll gain experience whether or not I'm using them at that moment. That's great. I really appreciate that. So Matthew learned to wallop. And Jam learned Elemental Wall. Sacrifice 20% of HP to create a wall that will absorb up to three hits for up to three turns. Neat. Quake! Huh? What's going on? If this is because of monster activity, we better stay sharp. Let's go. Ooh! Shit. Alright, first, uh. We're obviously going to try to catch the dandelion. These names have been 10-10 so far. <laughs> dandelion, these are so cute. Ooh, tutorial uprooted. 
Here, type attacks can uproot plant type targets, disconnecting them from the source of their nutrients, the ground. Ha! Huh. Yeah, I, I do know kind of about, uh. Like, about, like, elemental reactions and stuff. That's cool. Characters with AP drain gain fewer. Characters with AP drain gain one fewer AP each round. Gonna record this dandelion. I wonder where I can get more tapes from. I'm running out of tapes already. Okay. Ooh! That's a damage. Yeah. Give me that dandelion! <laughs> Cute sticker. Dandelions are loyal defensive guardians. They're typically found standing at the entrances to important caves in the grassy plains of New World. If you find one with no cave nearby, it may be a hint that something is hidden. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if that's for real. Uh, what am I naming this dandelion? Dendron? Roar to Dendron. Oh, I get it. I get the pun. I think I'm going with Fluffy. <laughs> this looks like a Fluffy. You know, sometimes you just have to name a thing Fluffy. Props to Fluffy? Yeah. Props. Ugh. Oh no! My tape! I better find a... Ah, oh, Fluffy learned Elemental Wall. So, switch to Traffic Rab. Gotta repair band sheep in a sec. Oh. Hello. Oh wait, that's that's you're my friend. Okay, you felt that one, right? Ooh. What? What is that? Was this always here? Th this isn't normal. I've never seen anything like this before. Has this always been buried here? Investigate the strange structure. Alright, well... Gotta heal my team. this way I, look I I know I want I want to go to camp Kaylee I thought you said I could re repair tapes during combat. Ooh, that popped up because of the dandelion, or rather the dandelion popped up because of it. Yeah, I, I did. That did occur to me. I didn't say that out loud, but yeah. The dandelion was protecting that cave.
I used to go camping a lot when I was a kid. Ireland has a bunch of great places to camp out. Oh. Oh, she's Irish. I... <laughs> I used to go camping a lot when I was a kid. Ireland has a bunch of great places to camp out. My dad would drive the two of us to the countryside and we stargaze together. Camping with you makes me nostalgic for that time. IT department. Yay, okay, cool. That That's how broken tapes have been repaired. Great. All right, let's get moving. Oops. Mixing up my buttons. Sorry, crap a crab. I got some exploring to do. I need to fuse. I need to fuse with Kaylee. Is this a train station? It should be okay to take a look around, right? Why did they have to make the my partner character Irish? This place smells like burning metal. I don't know what else I said. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Oh, metal wall sticker. Thoris, can you feel something in the air? Thoris, can you feel something in the air? Oh, a cutscene, Thoris. Oh, he's, oh, no, there's a hand. Oh, 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 I, oh, I don't like that. Oh. Is that you, Mordred? Come closer, child. So that I may see you one last time. This is... This is... The long conflict has drawn to an end. I am afraid he has defeated me truly this time. Thoris, I think this is an archangel. We need to leave. Now! This isn't like other monsters. We are not safe here. What happened to you? No. No, you are not my kin. You come for me once again, sword in hand. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh, glitch, glorch, glorch. Liking it. This is cool, this is cool. Ooh. Can't record archangels. Uh, put up an elemental wall, shall we? And, uh, why don't we raise your evasion? Oh, a plastic wall! Walls absorb a certain number of incoming hits. Type advantage attacks immediately break walls. Discordant thrash. Cool. Feels like I did a good thing there. Smack Morgante. It's a uh, with a sonic boom. Since that's uh, that's your strongest attack right now. Doesn't seem to be doing much yet. Ooh. Unlike other monsters that spend AP to use moves, Archangels accumulate all their AP until it reaches 10. Once the Archangel reaches 10 AP, it unleashes all that power at once in its unique angelic attack. 
to survive, use your move strategically to either set up a solid defense in preparation or defeat the Archangel before it gets enough AP. Level 100, but hardly any strength. But hardly any health. Yeah, like Morgante is like injured, I guess. I'm liking the Archangel battle theme. Okay, so we'll, uh. Let's call for help. Ooh! I'm not gonna die here, not like this. Do you hear me, Thoris? This isn't the end for us. It can't be. I refuse. I refuse. Well, you said it. You you said it. Why isn't this game fully voice acted? Or like if you like if you have some voice acting, give us more voice acting. We're gonna fight this thing and we're gonna do it together. And, and with this thing, <laughs> with this thing next to us, Thoris and Kaylee's hearts act as one. Yeah! Oh, trapping! <laughs> Ooh! When your goals are aligned with those of your companion, you can fuse to become a singular, more powerful beast. The closer you are to your companion, the more powerful you are as a fusion. Keep an eye on your fusion meter, though you can only fuse when this is full. As a fusion, you gain 4 HP each turn instead of 2, allowing you to make use of more of your more, more powerful moves sooner. You also have access to all the moves of both teams combined, and your stats are added together. Ha! Alright, well, Sonic Boom is my strongest attack. Yeah, Fossetier. Yeah, put up a water wall for me. Thanks. <laughs> Lyrics over the boss theme. Yeah. Thanks, Fossetier. Coda Morgana. Oh, uh, oh shit! Fossetier's still alive. Rad. Ooh! Look at all these experience points I gained. Sirenade learned provoke. Moth, you learn taunt. Band sheep learn to bite. Also got fused material. Huh. Up grape. A curious bunch of upside down grapes said to grow from seeds planted on kind of backwards day. Eating a bunch instantly upgrades a tape by one star? Okay. Where did Fossetier come from? Um, Kaylee's monster has an, has an ability called Call for Help. Uh, so I called for help and Fossetier showed up. Uh, which kind of took away from the theme of us bonding together to create our fusion, because then we bonded together and Fossetier is just kind of standing there. Um, but Fossetier helped. I can't say that Fossetier didn't help. That was fucking cool. That was fucking cool. Man, I, I love the aesthetic of this game. I love the vibe. Uh... How... How did we... I don't know. Ooh. Enough. <laughs> My time is drawing to an end. Why have you come to this wretched place? I want a way off this island. Hmm. I see. There is a way. There are none who know the path but I. I require a vessel, and you require a guide. Rebuild my strength, and in turn I shall lead you from this land. Vessel? Wait. Very well. Hear my song.
if you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. You must rise to the task at hand. <laughs> the rest of the song is too quiet to make up. <sighs> Torres, are you okay? What happened? You blanked out for a second there. We should get out of here. Oh, that's right. But I enjoy that he was just vibing while you guys merged souls. Yeah, he was just he was just chilling. A lot happened at that train station. I guess we should probably talk about it. About the archangel. Archangels. It was just just an Irish girl just chilling with us. Supposedly, when the first unlucky swords washed up on the shores of New Wirral, they thought the monsters here were angels. And, and some of them wrote of other entities too, greater than the others, creatures that look and feel wrong. Logically, they called these other creatures Archangels, the highest ranking among the Order of Angels. Of course, when people learned they could fight and defeat the regular monsters, they lost their angelic allure. Well... They've had a bunch of names over the years. Angels, demons, devils, ghouls. We just call them monsters now. It's a good catch-all term. Ugh. Those other creatures, though, like the one we fought, they're still archangels to us. We don't know what they are. No one has really seen one for a long time. Looking at that thing we fought, it's hard to explain. It felt like I wasn't viewing it correctly. Like trying to watch a movie through binoculars or something. Sorry. Sorry, I'm making some assumptions here. We're all from different worlds after all. <laughs> you might not know what movies are. What are movies? Just kidding. <sighs> oh, okay, grand. I've been in New World for three years and I've still not completely learned to adjust my cultural references when I talk to new folks. The boat was fusing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that. Fusion is a rare phenomenon known by the rangers. They fuse monsters in the wild, and apparently the lead of the rangers can do it too. The right circumstances, two people in monster form are able to unite and perform one powerful being. I guess the right circumstances include nearly being killed by an archangel. It felt strange. At the moment I was sharing a body with you, Thing we became was both us and not us at the same time. Uh... I, I've never fused with anyone before. I certainly wasn't expecting to fuse with someone I barely know. I I see uh I see that this might be going the way of uh, it might be doing the Steven Universe thing where fusion is both its own thing but also a metaphor for smooching. It just kind of happened in the heat of the moment, right? Sorry. Sorry, talking about it is a little awkward. We wouldn't have survived without it. Yeah, yeah I guess you're right. Now that we've done it. <laughs> I have this weird feeling inside me. Like a door has been opened that I didn't know was there was before. I didn't know was there before. I feel like I'd be able to fuse with you again if we ever needed to. Get this right. That Archangel, Morgante, her memory is inside you now. She knows a way to leave New World? There's even a chance that this can lead to a way off this island and return these people to their homes and their families. You owe to everyone on New World to find out and, <laughs> and ignore the big red flag that's happening right now. This is a bad idea, but let's go you for it. I. You and I! What do you say? We in this together. We don't have any other option, apparently. Wait. Fusion is now available in regular battles when partnered with Kaylee. Fusions you form with Kaylee now have added strength. Building relationships with your friends is really important. The strength of your relationship directly affects how strong you are when fused together. You get closer to someone by completing their quests and by battling alongside them. When time is right, you can take a break of the kid player. Or in the cafe to level up your relationship. If an archangel gave you that vision, then you 
need to find another one. And you need to be strong enough to stand against it when you do. Yeah. Locate Archangels to complete Morgante's song. Follow the clues it contains. Find your way home. Interesting. I like that piecing together a song is like the goal of the game. Um, and that's neat thematically. I do like that. The Rangers have a training program that'll help you become strong enough. Let's begin by getting a meeting with the Ranger leader. She'll be at the outpost in the park right about now. All right. So what's the party like? We got... Oh, I see. <laughs> so it's like Pokemon where you can have up to six cassettes at a time. They'll all level up at it. They'll all level up together. Um, and any any overflow has to go into storage. to Fluffy for now. Okay, no one I can apply it to yet. Got it. I can also recycle it for resources. That's fun. Some of these sentences are poorly worded. Yeah. I wonder if the uh, I wonder if the dev team, you know, if English isn't their native language. I'm not sure about that. Kaylee tells you a funny anecdote about her life. Stuck, try asking around town. Sometimes a good rumor will put you back on the right path. Oh, yeah. Bonjour. Bonjour. It is not too often we get a new face in here. Especially not one as handsome as your own. I am Clemence. I am Clemence, and this fine establishment is the Gramophone Cafe. What can I say? I own many records, and I brew the best coffee. Not that there is much competition. <laughs> I would die for Clemens. Please, feel free to ask me any questions. I am in no rush. I am super French. I am my voice. My French voice is great. I don't lose it every half second. What's on the menu? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, cool. Respools like revive, basically. Oh, and I can buy some more basic tapes. Ha! <laughs> Repels! And and escape bombs. And you can own a max of five repels and a max of three smoke bombs at a time. Oh. Well, gotta buy more basic tapes. No, I'll buy a I'll buy a respool. Oh, you can only have one at a time. Au revoir. Au revoir. We're all in Ooh. the same ship. Slaughterbox. Floating No. I know there's nothing. Bonjour. Yeah. Au revoir. Bonjour. Oui. When I arrived in Hubbard Town. People are, the people here are crying out for a place to socialize, a place that must be stylish. I made that place, if not me, who else? 
Don had a gramophone, an old machine for playing musical records, so I took to the machine and I made it the centerpiece of his new establishment. But the people, they cried out to me, Clemens, you have a gramophone, but no music. Well, well one day. <laughs> Why is the pear fusilli so expensive? That's a great question. <laughs> I don't know. One day the rangers find their place. I, I'm <laughs> sorry to sound like a Wakandan. Badly. Well, I mentioned we have the records, but they're made for modern record places. Our gramophone cannot play them. So I said to them, shush! And I fixed the gramophone, and now we can play the records. Now my cafe is stylish, and it has music. Everyone is happy as the end. Bonjour. How did you get here? I fell. Landed in the ocean, washed up here around about ten years ago now. It is what it is. I miss uh. motorbikes. <laughs> I need you coffee. I have a special method. And the pipers grow me coffee beans on their farm. It's a good arrangement, we oui? okay. I miss Manon. I wanna play more Manon. Tell you again! Harbor Town won't fall to you, bloodsuckers! So unreasonable. <laughs> Crawl back to the darkness you came from, or you'll have to go through me! Please, I've been thinking about Street Fighter 6 all day. Me too. I. I had time to play Street Fighter 6 before. before stream, but I wasted that time instead of playing it. And now I just wish I had gotten to play more Street Fighter 6. I fought your kind before and won. Do you want a demonstration? <clears throat> we shall leave for now. But in time you shall understand that we know what is best for you all. Yeah! Tell the rest of your kind that this town is protected by Eugene! But I'm racist against pale people. Let me know if those creeps bother you again, ma'am. Whatever you do, don't invite them into your house. That's what they want. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for intervening, young man. Hey. Hey. Sorry I had to see that. The name's Eugene. The name's Eugene. Which I guess you know, because I just yelled it at those guys. I'm Torres. Eugene is not the name of someone that protects a town. It's, it's, he's, I, I get like, I get like mild Gruce vibes. Not like, but not in uh, he's a bully way. <laughs> I ship them already. Eugene just needs to work on himself. I feel like you will, well, no, I, I, I immediately take that back. I was going to say, I feel like he won't be shipping that weird creepy vampire with anyone, like by the end of the game, but I... If I were to say that, I wouldn't know you that well. Always nice to see a new face around here, Thoraz. Who are those people? Hmm. I won't trouble you with the details, even though you asked me for the details, but they don't belong in this world. <laughs> Let's just say that not all the monsters in New World look like serial mascots. Anyway, I gotta go stake out those guys. I can't risk them sinking their teeth in the good people of Harbor Town. Getting racist vibes from me, Eugene. Do you need some assistance, though? <laughs> if you're willing to get your hands dirty, I'd be glad to have you assist. Meet me at this location. I'll give you a full lowdown when you're there. Damn, he really is racist against pale people. That's what I'm saying! with Eugene in the outskirts. Just prepare yourself for a throwdown. Things might get kind of ugly. Just like pale people. As ugly as a pale person. Hey. Hey. Any chance you could lend a hand? See, I told Ianth I'd put a town sign here. 
Something that could make the place a little more cozy, you know? Oh. I've miscalculated how much wood it would take. Any chance you could source me some spare wood? Thanks. Thanks. 300 wood? God damn. Do I look like I'm made of wood? Why don't we chop to the chick of sticker merchants? Something we can use. The merchant who runs the stall has left a note. I've gone to the cave in the park to find some inspiration. If I'm not back by noon, send help! Oh, fun. Look at all these quests I'm getting. Ooh. Ooh. I don't... I'm broke. I'm fucking broke. How do I get the resources I need for this shit? I've been designing some new support stickers. Too broke for this shit, too. Oh, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Right, well, let's, uh, well, I guess I should keep scooting around seeing if there's I'm pretty lucky to get to live this close to the sea, eh? Oh, Kaylee's house. Oh. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. We eat metal plastic. I just took your stuff, Kaylee. You were watching me do it, so I'm, I'm assuming you're cool with it. Welcome. Oh. Goodbye. Wait, what are you... Welcome. Okay, you didn't sell me this stuff. But I'm too broke for most of it. Bye. Give me some rewinds, and that's nice of you, but I'm, I'm good. Looks like I'm good. Oh, wait. Did, did I have the ability to ask her about pale people? What was that? Welcome. Okay, now. I'm gonna check up. You're in perfect health, Torres. Goodbye. Just saying hi. Okay, goodbye. Log. Okay, Rangers are up here, Eugene's over here. Three hundred wood is what I don't have right now. Alright, so we'll we'll go we'll go this way. Go, we'll go check in on the racist because there's also another quest we can do while we're there. Oh, is Eugene in here? Oh, there he is. Eugene's standing there ominously, yeah, like like a dang Rampa character. I 
There's little frame rate setters I get very occasionally, which I should not be getting on an Xbox Series X for a game that's like this, but... Hey! Glad you turned up. Are you ready to tag take on the forces of evil? Sure. Momentous. Sure. Momentous. All right, you see that building over there? That's a stronghold. It's where these inhuman parasites form their dark plots to take over this world. Jesus, man. Looks a bit plain, doesn't it? Looks can be deceiving, buddy. Their kind once plagued the world I came from, but we fought back. We won. There are a few of these strongholds. You might have seen them around. They lock the front doors. We can drop in through a window on the roof. All right. We're gliding over from here. I'll be by your side. Don't worry about it. Eugene. Cloxy. Cloxley. Cloxy's long claw limb gives me a unique advantage in range combat as they are able to wield handheld weaponry at a safe distance. This makes up for the fact that they're not very fast. This is his Clockly, so I'm not going to rename it. Oh! That's, that's a cool passive ability. Clockly is a plastic type. Kaylee has returned for the, to the Gramophone Cafe. Come to Eugene to the window. <laughs> I nabbed the window key from one of those ghouls while they were patrolling. We're gonna drop right in there and flush him out. You ready? A born ready. Ready for racism. We're taking down your operation, you leeches. Hmm. You're being very uncooperative, young man. Why don't you listen to our sales pitch? To sales pitch? Wait, what is this? What do you mean? Didn't you heavily imply that they're vampires? <sighs> they are vampires! The studio that made this is based out of the UK. Okay, so some of the, <laughs> maybe some of the English sounding clunky is just, that's how British people talk. Well. Well, in a manner of speaking, I'd say they're worse than vampires. They're estate agents. Yes. The Landkeepers Association simply wants to formulate a long-term housing market with a new world. <laughs> if you buy in now, you can make a significant profit from any future arrivals who will need a housing. Hmm. Since New World has no currency, we even have a promising repossession scheme in development. Hey! I've heard enough! Harbor Town will never be bought up by your kind! Norris. Are you ready? Well, he's racist against capitalism, so this this is fine. Let's show them what we uh, I guess so. No, let's show them what we're made of. Let's do it. Ah, uh, I I had I had a uh, fluffy out because I wanted to fuse fluffy the first chance I got, but. Yeah. Spring Loaded extends the range of a character's melee attacks, turning them into ranged attacks. Oh! Oh! I figure the flinch just gives us next turn. Damn, Eugene's getting fucked up. Buried. Just as the life cycle of plastic products is often unfortunately to be buried in a landfill, Earth type attacks bury plastic types. This limits their move. That's cool. That's not much damage. 
Let's put up a huge. Let's put up an elemental wall for Eugene. Okay, let's try the toy hammer again. Uh oh. Ooh. Get him, get him, Eugene. <laughs> Let's put an elemental wall for Thorez. Let's toy hammer the pawn dead here. Whoa! Shit! Oh no, I'm sleeping. Sleepy here just can't use the moves they normally have. There's just AP boost gain and extra AP each round. Fuck. Uh, yeah, let's get Matthew out here. Oh, Matthew. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. If I'm asleep. Calls for help from the astral plane. Yeah, get him. Nice. Foxley raises the user's range attack. Fluffy got leech. Oh, good. Fluffy still gains experience, even though Fluffy got knocked out. Ooh. -ooh. Jam learned in flame. Got some resources. Three wood. I'll get to 300 in no time. Just, in, nuts, just need to beat these guys a hundred more times, and then I'll be good. <laughs> Cloxley is cool. Fluffy! Yeah, Cloxley is cool. <clears throat> Market growth is inevitable. We are inevitable. Bye. Uh. A small victory. But there's more work to be done. Oh, you show the really all that bad. Mm. These land keepers seek to profit off of our collective misery. I don't know how they got here. Yeah. But I intend to stop them as the defender of Harbor Town. Do you uh, want some help with that defender of Harbor Town? <laughs> some help would be appreciated, yeah. Keep your eyes peeled for the other strongholds and listen up for rumors when you're in town. Also, take this. <laughs> you can open the roof windows on your own now. The island of New World is yours to explore as you please. If you're looking for a suggested location to head to next, you can always head to Harbor Town and ask around for rumors. People at Harbor Town love to trade intel. Investigating the locations given in rumors will usually lead to progress in your quests, as well as help you discover new monsters. Ha, huh. neat. Oh. Used material. Smells like rotten eggs, but rangers seem to value it or regard it as valuable. Got yeah, the exact wording, but here we are. I love this. You you love the the rumor mechanic or or the Eugene hates capitalism or both, neither. Let's set up camp. Rumor mechanics are so cool. Nice. Oh, yeah, but what is also like my camp resource? 
I need to work on my battle shouts. Battle shouts? Yeah. Yeah. Like when I'm facing down some foes, and just before I transform, I yell something like, Let's do this, or transform! To transform isn't very original. Uh... It's not a going project, okay? What if I shouted, I'm going monster mode! Would that work? Do you think that sounds badass? Absolutely not. I'll come back to this another time, then. Your broken tapes have been repaired. Ah, uh, give give me a heart. Give me a heart with Eugene. Let me fuse with Eugene. You hurt his feelings. Well, I didn't have a choice not to. But <laughs> both of my answers were mean. Target leech status for three turns. Always love that. Oh, damn. Oh, good. Oh, good. My attacks won't miss if if I target someone that leaves. They share and take damage at the end of their turn. Opponents are healed by the amount of health taken off. Ooh, the whole amount. Cool. Jump scare is a cool, a cool name for an attack. Yeah. Yeah, you see how it sounds a little chunky? Like, uh, like the game's struggling to keep up with itself. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm going back to go put Kaylee back on my team so we can fuse and I can look at all the fusions in the game. the hard road. This place is a cute little town, don't you think? Yeah. Where's the cafe? Is this the cafe? No, this is where an old lady lives. This is the cafe. Yes. Right, right let's go. Alright, Kaylee. Alright, so... What was the other... Oh, yeah. Should be collecting numbers. Funny Carl, Lankheaver's Association offices. A little inspiration. Looking forward to having more stamina soon. Seems like that'll be a nice thing. This probably won't. Oh, that worked. Oh. Hey. Have you seen these red caches about? Every quest name appears to be a song name. That's just a nice bit of charm. Oh, really? 
Most rangers have supplies in them for each other when traversing the island. In fact, I was just about to place something in this one. Why don't you take it instead? Yeah. Can't carry more respools. Damn. Ooh. Interesting. Cool, uh, cool technical abilities. Hold on, let me... Land of confusion, take me on. I can't like take on me, acting on your best behavior. Rumor has it, a little inspiration working over time. I don't get most of the references, but I do get a couple of them. Hopefully that repool, that respool will just stay there indefinitely. New World Park. Uh oh. Hey, you. <laughs> you boys aren't normally bold enough to venture this close to our outpost. Why don't you get on out of here while this conversation remains civil? Mm. You ain't moving, huh? I guess I gotta get my hands dirty then. Whoa! She's in charge for a reason, huh? I believe that's Ianth or whatever her name is. Okay. No, it's faster than running. Fast travel. To do it, you just press the button to open your map. You move your cursor to one of the squares that can be traveled to. Press A. You can also, fast travel to escape a battle if you're too slow to flee. You have to abandon some items to get away quickly, but it just might save your life. I bet this is, I bet I have to like activate this as like a fast travel point, so let's camp. <laughs> Holy, that lasted five seconds, but yeah, still cool. Still cool. All right, well, I'll, I'll hopefully this will already mark it as a fast travel point and I won't have to. Oh, All right, let's see if I can save the so-and-so person. Oh, there's a local multiplayer option. That's cool. I didn't know this was co-op. Okay. This is the cave in the park. Oh, can I move? Yeah. Putting Kaylee there does not activate it, I see. Oh. <laughs> May the lightning kite of Leader Dorian show you the way! Oh shit. You. Right. Okay, so the fusion meter is on the right there, I got it. Macabre. That's a fun thing. Oh, cool. Provoke and elemental wall is going to be a nice combo. I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, 
well. Intercepting intercept all attacks directed at their allies. Neat. Yeah, elemental wall, baby. That person seemed pretty weird. Uh... Let's talk about it another time, okay? Oh good, I don't need to... It's open now. It's open forever. I think the townsfolk used to mine stuff down here in the past. Kuka. <laughs> Cute. All right, with my dodge here. Coal story. Burn characteristic damage at the end of their turn. So I'm not taking more damage than I need to. I'm not sonic boom these suckers. Ooh. And I'm uprooted. Damn. Uh oh. Ah, floppy. We'll swap over to Van Sheep. Berserk? Characters of Berserk can only use damaging moves. Oh. I keep status effects even when my tapes get damaged. Interesting. Let's bite ya! And, uh... Did I lose a sticker? Oh, right! I can only use damaging attacks. So it's not even showing the attacks that don't do damage. Interesting. Aha! Oop! Yeah! Oh cool, fusion is on lower left. Aw, Banshee learned elemental wall.
Let's see, where is the switch? My guys are wind. So I should, uh. The fusion aspect is just so cool. I love it as a mechanic and thematically. Yeah, me too. I've been really excited about this game, mainly for the fusion reasons. Alright. Let's record ya! Boarding. Sonic Boom. Yeah. Gotcha. Squirey. The common Squirey is often seen roaming the plains of New Weryl, searching for opponents to battle. Despite their cute appearance, they are dedicated warriors and driven by an innate desire for self Sketches of the creatures on the cassettes for a good touch. Yeah, I love that. That's good. <laughs> I'm name I'm naming him Wayne. After Wayne Knight. AKA Newman from Seinfeld. AKA the 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 guy in Space Jam that gets turned into a balloon. Hey, get out of here! Ooh, Wayne learned Copper Chop. Nice, Wayne. Why? <laughs> Ooh, it looks resonance on glass and metal type art. That's interesting. Oh no, Kaylee! Oh good, Kaylee's fine. Yeah! I flipped the switch. Oh my god. I should respool Fluffy. That's what I should do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm catching you. I'm catching you. Get him with a sonic boom. Yes! 
Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah! Musketeer. Musketeers can often be found sharpening their swords on stones in the underground caves where they dwell. It's not uncommon to find them dueling any squires, squires that happen to cross their paths. Holy shit. Oh my god, what am I naming this guy? Musketeer is the greatest? I know! He needs a good name. Is he a mouse riding a rat or a rat riding a mouse? I think he's a rat riding a mouse, or maybe a mouse riding another mouse? stickers can I give you? None yet? Can I not give you any stickers? Okay. When your party is full, tape to your quarter. Put in a special storage compartment in your backpack. These tapes can be accessed and moved to and from your party when you're set at a campfire in the cafe. Tapes and stores you don't want anymore can be recycled for resources and stickers. Ratatouille was put in storage. I'll come back for you, Ratatouille. Like, ooh, dodge uncommon. Yeah, what's a uh, three spool fluffy? Morning, fluffy. I'll swap away now for Ratatouille when I get the chance, because I like jam. Can uh can Kaylee swap tapes? Looks like Kaylee can swap tapes. Like, I feel like for for type reasons I should swap out Matthew because I already have Sirenade. Representing the wind type, or whatever. What, what's air? Air type. But uh, but Matthew has cool moves though. Like Matthew's got like Zephyr and yeah, Matthew's got cool stuff going on. So I want to keep Matthew. Like, Bansheep's my starter, you know, so I want to keep Bansheep around. Also, does Bansheep have. Bansheep has four stars right now. I wonder. I wonder if the stars go up as, as their experience goes up. Yeah, Bansheep's my starter, so I don't want to put away Bansheep immediately. I like Jam, even though Jam feels like he's meant to be kind of like a low level. I mean, look at look at this guy. All right. Nice. I feel like I'm close to having fusion points. Ah, Alright, I'll fight you. I'll fight you! I'll fight you, Terra Cooker!
Okay, doing Leech. So I've got the Provoke Elemental Wall combo going. So now, like, all attacks will target Sirenade, but Sirenade has an Elemental Wall up, so Sirenade won't take damage. And then I have Leech going, so I'll be draining the opponent's HP. And then I'll hit you with a Sonic Boom, some decent damage. Spit at ya. Oh. I had a I had a good idea, but Ooh, plant type attacks carry seeds with them that are implanted in earth type targets and drain energy. Ooh, so I can just That's good to know. I wonder if like I'm just expected to retain all this, or... I think I am. There isn't any, like, review... I wonder if um Oh. Well there we go. Okay. This does like kind of retell me. But it doesn't oh relationships? I oh, don't know, that's just that's just that. But uh but yeah, I wanna know like there Oh, a card fell out of the back of the handbook. The oh, look at that! The elemental type chart! How handy. Oh, excellent! Okay, so let's see. The types are Beast, which is just standard. Reacts to glass, and that's it. <laughs> Beast can reduce glass to glass shards. And, uh. Glitter will turn everything else into glitter, basically. Like, because glitter gets on everything. This type chart is wild, yeah. Um. Yeah, there's air, astral, interesting. Earth, fire, ice, lightning, metal, plant, plastic, poison, water, glass, and glitter. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hmm. That's funny, glass doesn't have a lot of reactions or interactions, actually. Resonance. Uh, maybe glass is basically meant to be the ice of the game, where it has, where it has a lot of weaknesses and only really one thing that it does good against. But like maybe glass moves are really cool. Oh yeah, but ice exists. But it looks like ice. Huh. Looks like ice doesn't have as many weaknesses. Yeah. Yeah, like it, uh... It's weak against lightning and metal. Fire will transmute it into water, which is funny. But then water will, like, buff ice. So 
So like ice ice is a better elemental in this. And it said glass is kinda like ice is in Pokemon where Where it has more weaknesses than strengths, but maybe maybe it does other cool things. That's that's awesome. I appreciate that. I appreciate that type of chart. I wonder if I can like open that up during battle, you know. Hey! Hey, you over there! These monsters have me cornered! Could you give me a hand here? Yeah. Um, how do you expect me to do that? Oh. Why can't you just fucking fly when you feel like it? Have we come to help? Actually, wait. Before we help, we're gonna get into this random battle so we can up our fusion meter. So we're gonna do. I forgot to provoke. Oh, well, we can, we can take him, take him out with a sonic boot. Yeah, get out of here, get out of here. Could I could use this on on my sheep, but uh, but we'll wait, we'll wait. Um, all right, we'll use we'll use rewinds on Fluffy and Sirenade. Man, right, I want to take a look at uh, at Band Sheep. Okay, I mean, Band Sheep's like halfway towards leveling up, so like. Using a tape on Banshee would be kind of a waste. Should I, uh... No, I've, I've already healed up, and I don't have any more heals, so let's just... Oh my god! Enemies can fuse! <laughs> oh no, they fused! Help! A rogue fusion! This monster is what the rangers call a rogue fusion. Sometimes they hide inside chests. Found in underground caves, battling rogue fusions. Great way to earn valuable items and experience points as well as find certain rare monsters. But no, they're not always. Note they're always a lot more dangerous than other monsters in the area. Certain rogue pieces surround themselves with a swarm of other monsters that you have to defeat before you can confront the fusion itself. If you're not certain of your combat abilities or your experience somewhere new, it's usually best to leave rogue fusions alone. Carry the pepper cut first. Let's 
call for help. Oh, that didn't work. Oh. This guy's intercepting my shit. Keep, keep calling, keep calling for help, Kaylee. We need the help. Oh, come on. <laughs> this game is so cool for no reason, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad I, uh, I decided to fuck with, with this. Call for help. Yeah! God. Oh God, my fusion meter is so close to going all the way up. It's not quite there yet. Um, oh no, Dandelion. Yeah, Dandelion's in trouble. I really want to fuse before anything bad happens to Dandelion. Uh, let's leech the south pawn number two. Okay, Sonic Boom. Nice. Oh no! Left. Um. Can't fuse yet. Let's try recording. It looks like Southpaw is like kind of a rare kind of monster, so let's... Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, 21% chance, fuck! Come on, come on. Shit. Recording failed. I think that was my last tape, too. Oh, no. I have one more. Fight, right? We're about to win. 
I want to see the fusion, but I guess I'll just save it for the next fight. I'm also out of tapes. Get out of here. Phew! But you get to see Creature. I'll get to see Creature next time. Snooze Spore. Ooh. Let's see. Target sleep status. Serenade learns Air Wall. Yeah, cool. <laughs> or I'll, I'll get to see Creature soon. Ooh. Jam learned multi smack, hits one target multiple times. Ooh, Wayne learned a parry stance, which reflects the first melee attack received this round. Oh, yeah. Nice. Ooh, I got all sorts of pulp. That's nice. Oh, thanks for that. I came in here looking for some sticker ideas, but I ended up getting more than I bargained for. Say, did you notice Seth Paul's move Magnet activates automatically at the start of battle? I think I got my inspiration after all. Come see me at the market back in town. I'll have some special stickers for you. Everyone can fly. Some plastic coating. Got some wheat. <laughs> Stop hoofing. It's like going to humph. Oh. Got to see him soon, I'm sure. Okay, I think there's a camp out here. Yes. Ah, because my party's so fucked up, it's gonna cost more, uh, more resources, that makes sense. You and Kaylee casually discuss the mysteries of New Earl. No, because you did not do Creature. I'll do Creature soon! Your broken tapes have been repaired, hooray! Tape storage, gratitude. -y. Yeah, I'll swap you out for Wayne. I'll put Wayne in storage. No soon, only creature. Oh, Ratatouille's got no stars. Apply sticker. Okay, cool. Um. Two percent critical damage. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll put a. Oh, I, I can't. I can't put it on Ratatouille. I wonder why. Maybe because it needs to be the same type, or maybe it's just kind of like <laughs> no take, only throw. Um. I wonder if it's kind of like each each monster has its own um, has its own like TMs that it can learn basically. So we'll put a you know, we'll put the dodge sticker on Ratatouille. 
Oh yeah, and I could kind of alternate between Peekaboo and Dodge to kind of make Ratatouille like a dodging machine. Um, what if I give Matthew... Like, Zephyr and Wallop are basically the same. Well, one's ranged and one's melee. Um, but Matthew's good ranged and melee. And Smack's good for... I don't know. Okay, we'll... We will... Peel the sticker off. And apply... Apply Sonic Boom on common. Put Zephyr up top here. Maybe that's not the most efficient way to do things. We'll, we'll see how that goes, right? We'll see how that goes. Actually, yeah, no. I'm going to take Wallop off and put, um... I'll put Smack back on. Just because it's, it's nice to have an attack that costs little to no... to no meter. So we'll do that. Kind of progressing. Oops. Oh, what's in there? That thing started great. Gross. Alright, alright, I'm fusing. It's time for creature. When Dandelion and Sirenade fuse, we get. Dandenade! All these attacks they have. Ooh. I get lyrics when they fuse. Ooh, astral types draw their power from the four elements fire, earth, air, and water. Ooh, astral type attacks drain power from targets of the four elements fire, earth, air, and water. And I'm... well... I'm... I'm air. That's cool. I like how, like, I'm doing damage, but I'm still buffing them. Meditating characters raise their stats each turn that they're asleep. Uh-oh. Phew! Okay. Start a grade. Would have been nice to. Ooh, Ratatouille got the zoomies. 
It's one target that takes priority over other moves. The zoomies is quick attack. I'm <laughs> a good little creature. I'll have to fuse with creatures besides Sirenade soon. Oh. The upper path. rocks for Ooh, Twisha. Oh. Can I open the Twisha? We don't deserve this game. <laughs> it's really good. This is this is quite good. Oh, hey guys! Right. That's what we're looking for. Someone to beat to prove our worth to the Rangers. All right. I think Fl Fluffy's nice as kind of a support character, but uh. But also, like, not doesn't do much damage. Um, so let's Rat Ratatouille's very low level right now and doesn't have much happening. Um, so let's get a let's get Banshee back out here. Those guys have like poisoning spit. Whatever. Ooh. Ooh. It's juicy. I'm supposed to get wood from him. Getting so little wood. I'm supposed to get 300. Who am I kidding? I'm not good enough for the Rangers. Oh. Shit. Uh oh. Hey, you. This place isn't safe. Whoa. Langolin's cool looking. What was what was what noise? What is that melody? Oh, you know what? I'll swap. I'll swap to Ratatouille. Haley can swap to mock you, so we still have a wind user that isn't low on HP right now. Langland's cool looking. Yeah, zoomies. Oh, 
bless you. I think my fiance just sneezed. There's a weird enemy noise when he defeated it, but Palangolin's really fucking cool. Palangolin looks fucking dope. I wonder if I can get Palangolin. <laughs> Great Zoomies animation. I'm hoping for that upped critical. a double target. It's kind of rude. Oh, Blanglin seems to be a... seems to be a, a fusion just out the gate. Alright. Alright. Oh, get him! Get him with the zoomies! Oh. Ooh. Yes, you. Whoa. Tokusax. Thing's also rad. Why does this thing just have two fusions? Damn. I have no items. Besides upgrade. on him. Oh. oh, Matthew. All right. Um. Damn. All right, let's do Fluffy. some zoomies. We'll toss up an elemental wall to keep to keep Ratatouille safe. And um oh snooze spore right well we'll we'll leech we'll leech Tokusek first. Yeah, that was a crit. Oh, boy. Um, okay, more zoomies. Okay, let's see if Snooze Spore works. Now! At least leeching still works. All right, Fluffy's down, Matthew's down, Matthew is down. Um, we'll swap over to, to Jam. All right, more zoomies. Um, I wonder what fire does to wind. Being able to read the elemental type chart in the middle of battle is like such an A-plus quality of life thing. Um, fire versus air will buff it. Oh, plastic versus air. Plastic versus air don't do shit. That's okay, that's the way it should be. Let's go. Okay, got the zoomies. Do okay, not a crit. Okay, leeching them, leeching them. Yes. Oh, phew. 
Nice work, team. All right, oh, Ratatouille learned toy hammer. Oh, it's plastic, nice. Matthew learned air wall. Banshee learned to cotton and on. Reduces the accuracy of moves that can be evaded to target the user to 0% for the next. Oh, nice. Cool, so basically, like, makes you immune to attacks that can miss. If it, and if, it, if an attack can miss, um, Banshee was guaranteed to dodge it for a round by using Cotton On, but uh, it uses up uses up some squares. Oh. Oh, somehow, I think you'll be all right. to get oh to the outpost in the park to sign up to the rangers but I actually passed where I'm supposed to go because I'm because I'm silly I'm, I'm, I'm at the campsite right now. But I'm not quite at the campsite. So maybe if I... Go up here, let me... Oh, it won't let me fast travel to campsites. Band sheep W. <laughs> oh, I think um I think if I look at my bestiary. And I take a look at Banshee. Nice. Ghosts commonly appear in folklore across all of human history and civilization as manifest spirits of the deceased. Whether they are harmless or malevolent varies on the depiction, or often the personality of the departed. Yeah, alright. Ghosts. <laughs> Weird. I wonder what's preventing me from unlocking that. both lights in order to... I mean, I was trying to just get to the outpost. It's just trying to get to the ranger outpost, but... Uh, 
I like how I won't lose health for that, it seems. I see, I see, I see. If I jump from here. Oh, almost did it, but not quite. Yeah. The little crunch when I land is kind of funny. Oh, oh, that worked! in here. Ooh, sharp edges. I like the sticker system. Gives user a contact damage status for three turns. I don't know what that is. Oh, but I got a basic tape. Good enough to join the Rangers? Oh, all right. All right, let's see. We'll, we'll start with a Sharpen. We will switch over to um, the Jam. Because Jam's the one that's hurting the least. Bite. Traffic crab. Do a multi. Ooh, I wonder what uh what fire does to plastic. That seems like that'll fuck plastic up, doesn't it? Plastic will transmute into poison with fire, cause like, yeah, that's melting plastic will create like toxic fumes. That's cool. I wanna, yeah, I wanna see that happen. Oh! Oh! Whoa, I did a lot of damage right there. Ooh, just set a recruiter on fire. Oh, what's this thing? It's a beast. So we don't really have any way to affect it. So we'll just sharpen. Do the old multi smack on Macabra. Ah. Ooh, multi smack's really good. Jam, Jam's put in work in, man. Jam's given. given reason for me to keep it around. Ooh! My fusion meter's full. Phew! Yeah. GM wants to prove themselves. Creature! You show promise! You should head inside. I I will head inside. I, I'm out of resources. I need a place to sleep. The 
scribbled no say, if given a toy, the elven monster will not stray from its path. Without one, it will eventually be consumed by rage. Ooh, whatever that means. Ooh, can't I slot in a rewind? I was ambushed by a spring heel hiding around a corner. Frankly, I'm lucky to have made it out in one piece. Oh, a basic tape. Okay, I can't sleep here. Maybe once I'm a ranger, I can. Ayante. Ayante. Nice to meet you, newbie. Well... Well, what do you think of this outpost? This place was abandoned for the longest time. With a bit of work, we turned it into a rest stop for weary rangers. What do you do here? What are the rangers for? What do you do here? I'd like to tell you we defend the people of New Weryl from a relentless horde of monsters. <laughs> but most of the time we're doing odd jobs for the community. It's really not that excited. Exciting. Kaylee can attest to that as one of our more recent recruits. Oh! Well, Thor's and I fought, just fought an Archangel! Is that so? We'll have to look into this. Archangels. We're pretty sure Archangels exist, but our interactions with them have been fleeting. Well... Well, maybe we should find out more. I, Anth. I think Thorez should apply to be a Ranger. Huh? Well, what do you think, Thorez? Do you want to apply to join the Rangers? What do I have to do? Trainees are tasked with meeting up with each of the ranger captains here in New World and overcoming their challenges. <laughs> Since you're such a hot shot in monster combat, I'm pretty sure the captains are going to want to test your fighting abilities. Ranger captains? Yanthi. Or Ianthi. I think it's Yanthi. You really are new here. Trainees who pass the trial become full-time rangers like Haley. Rangers have a lot of responsibilities, but nothing... Or it's Ianth. Ianth. I already forgot how she pronounced it. But nothing that would put them in significant danger. The captains, like myself, run the whole operation. We try to maintain the community in Harbor Town, and the most dangerous situations fall on us to resolve. So, captains of the top rangers? Here, take one of these. <laughs> Fun. Does this give me free copies? Right. Every time you overcome a <laughs> I'm fucking ignoring you, Thorez. Every time you overcome a captain's challenge, they'll stamp this card. When you filled it all in, come see me and I can sign you off as an official ranger. Each captain has perfected their own strategy in battle. It ain't just about raw strength. You're gonna have to learn to adapt your approach as you go. You think you can handle it, Thorez? I'm ready. <laughs> That's the spirit. Turn with each of the ranger captains to become a ranger. You can find out where these captains are stationed by asking around in Harbor Town. <sighs> anyway, I gotta head back into town. If you need me, come swing by our headquarters. A building with half a ship wedged on top of it? You can't miss it. Okay, but it'd be pretty cool if this was now a fast travel point. Oh, look at that, it is. Which means I can safely mosey back to town. tells you a funny anecdote about her life. Thanks, Kaylee. Ooh, certain tapes can be remastered when they reach five stars. Remastering a tape evolves it into a more powerful form. Its stats will grow and it'll learn new moves. Some monster forms can only be obtained through remastering, and in some cases, the remastered tape can be different depending on various conditions. Remaster tapes whenever you can. Oh my god. Oh shit, Matthew is also five stars. Oh my god, I didn't realize. I was, I kind of like, 
I kind of just figured I wouldn't be able to, like, evolve Pokemon, you know? I wouldn't be able to evolve monsters in this, because fusion was such a major thing. I will remaster my Banshee. Spirit cannot remain in limbo forever. Ascend to the afterlife or return- Oh my god, it's a branching- Oh my god. Okay. Oh shit. Um... Okay, so am I going to have a band sheep that ascends, or am I going to have a band sheep that stays earthbound? Because I feel like this decision will affect the evolution. I'm thinking ascend, right? Like I'm I'm a sexy, mysterious, pink-haired anime boy. I I need to have like a fucking ghostly ass. Yeah, I'm, I'm ascending to the afterlife. That's that's what I think I'm going to do. Spoopy sheepy. Spoopy sheepy. Woltergeist. <laughs> Unlike the band sheep, the Wolfergeist is an undead spirit that only partially manifests on the physical plane. It is said that when it is in proximity to a place where death recently took place, the horns on its head grow sharper. And I'll need a five star it. Uh, holy shit, this game's so cool. This game's so cool. Guys, is an astral type, I kind of figured. And it's stickers. What kind of stickers you got? Smack. Alright, sheer luck. Had that before. Okay. And remaster Matthew. Remaster your Matthew into more powerful form? Hell yeah. Ooh, Moth UT became Wingloom. The light bulbs in a Wingloom's head channel an electric current that runs through the creature's entire body. Oh, shit, Ma Moth is electric now. The lights generated by them are reflected out its eyes, allowing them perfect vision at night. Oh my god, Wolfergeist is perfect. Wolfergeist is fucking great. Matthew, the uh, the wing loom, it's also pretty cool. Shit. Well, I guess I gotta, I gotta keep. You know why Sirenade's growth is so slow? And I gotta keep keep upgrading Fluffy, gotta keep upgrading Jam. Cause I gotta keep these suckers in my party so I can remaster them of all of them. Sorry, Wayne. cool that um your level like um I really like the kind of progression and leveling system in this right because like your base level is really the level of any tape that you have equipped um and then raising their star rating basically just like improves their move pool and like uh and their abilities and stuff so you can have a monster with no stars equipped and they'll they'll still like with no like star rating and they won't be like super weak they'll obviously be at a disadvantage because their moves won't be as cool 
We can also kind of mitigate that if you have the right stickers. Um, that's awesome. That's that's a really cool and well thought out progression system. And I like that a lot. I like that a bunch. Um, how, how, how have I been like volume wise? If, uh, the game hasn't been drowning me out at all, right? Good, good, okay. Oh, gossip? Hmm. Apparently, there's a monster that dashes about like a rocket. I bet you could too if you recorded one. you gather in Harbor Town are tracked in your quest log. Harbor Town is the best place to stock up on supplies. So remember to check for new rumors whenever you're there. Sorry, Eugene, but I can't fuse with you, so. Volume's good, it is. to me passive moves my friend here take a look at my sticker selection for the day oh they're all so expensive come back tomorrow and I'll some fresh new stickers I can't afford anything I'm glad that I don't take damage for, like, falling to my death. Hmm. I heard Captain Wallace is at the park right now. Oh, right. Captain Wallace. Oh! Cool. I heard Captain Zed was heading out to see what's up with morning time to the east. Bet he fell asleep on the way. Yeah, so Captain Zed's rumor has it. Ooh, that's not much experience points at all. Greetings and salutations. <laughs> I am Professor Percival Hoylake, intrepid investigator into the unknown. The unknown? Yes! Indeed! As we all find ourselves marooned in this curious realm, it falls upon a steadfast and rational mind to make sense of the chaos that surrounds us. I am talking of the scientific method. We must observe, analyze, and form conclusions. The humble townsfolk describe many strange beasts on this island were to catalog them, that the unknown would cease to be unknown. Say, you look like you appreciate the importance of this task. Would you be interested in helping me identify some monsters? Excellent. Excellent. Wonderful. I have some descriptions of monsters I've sourced from Harbor Town's populace. If you can record those monster forms, I'll be able to catalog them. The first account I have is a fanged creature perched on a skull spotted in the park. There's some blank tapes to assist you in your research. Yeah, thank you for the tapes. <laughs> okay, so we know what monster the the monster on the skull. We know what monster he's talking about. At least I should record it. I do like this kind of side quest. It's cool. Good boy, like voice. Well, I just try to imitate the voice he made. Ah. Oh. 
booster packs. That's fun. Monsters, they're weird. It's funny. Recycle items you don't need anymore, not only is it a good way to declutter your inventory, but also gives back some of the insources that went into making the item. And you can trade those resources with someone else for new items. Yeah, give it a go with this old book. I don't need it anymore. Old book with lots of strange words in it. recycle you for 500 pulp thanks man that was a lot of pulp hey holding on to any old tapes and stores you don't need anymore next time you're taking a break from your travels why not recycle one at a campsite or in the cafe open your tape store and select a tape you don't want then hit recycle it's a good way to get some extra resources you can trade with merchants they can net you some extra stickers from that monstrous pool but I don't like that it feels like killing the monster, even though, really, I'm just recording its essence and any monster I defeat, like, just escapes whether or not I record their essence, so. It is, it is actually nice that that's part of the lore and that I don't have to feel too guilty about, like, making monsters faint or, or discarding tapes or any of that. Plant resistance. No, oh, a passive ability. Passively reduces incoming plant type damage by 50% and negates any reactions that would incur. Does not affect critical hits. That sheet. That's neat. You know, I worked so hard to move out of my hometown. I really mean it. I was ready for the next part of my life, only to get stuck in another small town. I suppose this is just what fate wanted for me, huh? No time to chat. I have an order of pastries to finish preparing. Hmm. We usually cook food for the townsfolk here, but we haven't received ingredients from the farm west of here for a while. What was going on? What the? What is this? What are you doing? What are you doing? Welcome. <laughs> Are you here to learn about the astral arts? <laughs> you would be wise to heed my words. Oh. Uh. You see, beasts of the astral type draw their power from the four basic elements of nature. An astral creature exposed to any of these four elements will be empowered. However, their internal harmony can be thrown into disarray by this exposure to impure elements, plastic, poison, and metal. If you wish to take the form of an astral beast, remember this. Oh. I wonder if, like, I can eventually get an ability that, like, lights up areas. And then I'll be able to see what's in her house. Loving the music and how it's not fitting the spooky lady atmosphere. That's funny. Alright, so I got some rumors. Um, hey, I, actually, I didn't get any rumors about... about the spooky uh, real estate people. Was I supposed to get a, a rumor about the spooky real estate people? I wonder if I can only get those rumors when Eugene's hanging out with me.
<laughs> That's funny that... Man, I have to do a... I have to do a big-ass quest in order to... in order to get access to the ranger billboard. Ugh! Well, all right. I've got some rumors, so I can kind of work with those, roll with those. Yeah. I still don't have half the wood I need. The cats are also at the park right now, so why don't I fast travel to said park? Because that's also where... Yeah. Leave me alone! Ah. Yes! The value of property near the park is sky high! Alright, so I've still got these two suckers equipped. Um, let me switch over to... I, I guess let's, let's see what, uh, what Matthew and Wolf for guys have going on. Yeah, tank those hits. Should I should I fuse Matthew and Wultergeist? I it feels like a waste. What Diablo mod is this? This is Cassette Beast! Um Yeah, Pokemon style, like Monster Battle game. Um where in addition to like you know catching monsters and evolving them by recording their essences onto cassette tapes, um, you can also uh, fuse them together once your meter gets high enough. Um, it's a waste of resources for me to do right now, but I'm going to demonstrate. Wingtergeist! Ooh. I've accessed all these fucking moves. I'll go with Battering Ram. Or bite? Let's go with bite. Oh yeah. You got nothing on me. DMCA the RPG. No, don't worry. Every everything's uh everything that gets recorded is public domain. Ooh, yeah, the supersonic boom. Alarm. Cool. Ooh, the crime rate is also sky high. Oh, and the lane keeper leaves. Oh yeah, let's um. Got Sirenade in the party for a bit. We'll swap out Fluffy for. We'll put Jam in, actually. I think Jam is deceptively cool. Um, I also like Ratatouille, but I feel like Ratatouille should be. Um, should be. should have more stars in. Although Toy Hammer is nice. Toy Hammer is nice. Now that. Uh, Rhyme! Now that, uh... Now that Ratatouille is... Now Ratatouille has, like, a nice damaging move. Maybe I should swap Ratatouille in? Let's 
swap Serenade out for now. I do like Serenade, though. And I, I want to, like, fast forward Serenade, like, evolving. Swap him in. Swap him in! Okay, alright. Alright, I'll swap in Ratatouille. Kaylee, what's the deal with Kaylee? Oh! Plus 10% to all stats when transferred into Sirenade or its remaster. That's cool. That basically incentivizes you to keep Sirenade attached to Kaylee. Uh, but if you don't, it doesn't like wreck the game. But yeah, we'll, we'll want Sirenade's remaster to, to be around in the near future. Aha! There it is! Okay. So, alright, we'll, uh... First, let's take down Carnaviper. Just get Carnaviper, like, out of here. Ratatouille's taking all this damage. Poisons found in New World tend to be flammable and can be ignited with a fire-type attack. Nice. Okay. Let's... Record Macabre. that to a 64% chance. Gotcha! The Macabre cannot see, but instead has the ability to taste the air around it for potential prey. The first to do so from a higher vantage point will often find a rock or animal for the first time it's hunting. Rad. What should I name this guy? Ooh, I got it. I forgot to stock up on, like, items and stuff. Oh yeah, I need to go find... You recorded Macabre. Return to Hoy Lake to show him. Um, I should also... Check on that guy? That, uh... That left me a revive item? Did that work? Ah! Hey. Put up a, a little traffic going wall. Ratatouille. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> Alright, let's swap back to Sirenade. Ratatouille's not quite strong enough to hang with the big boys yet, I don't think. Jim's hitting kind of hard. Boo! <laughs> Are you booing me benching Ratatouille? I'm sorry. Getting wrecked right now, that's all. Silicon Slash. Let's go. It's like a, a glass attack or a metal attack, I'm not sure which. Funny that, that like this is how I got here. Like this bit, this area here's where I came from. But it seems like I can't really go back to that area. So where's the? Oh. Oops! Just kind of walked into that guy. Whoa! Elfless. Elfless, like help, like selfless. I mean, that thing's pretty cool. Ooh, and it's an ice type, so I can fuck up this elfless. Let's, uh, let's, re let's record it. Let's record this elfless. Fuck this elfless up! Whoop. Planning a fire type attack on an ice type target causes it to melt, becoming water type. Coding changes the elemental type of a character for a certain number of turns. Thirty-two percent chance. It's not. Sorry. Okay. That's okay. That's all right. Get out of here. Oh. What is electric? Will, elect will electricity do... Let's see here. I'll see an electric smack on the water. Oh. Electrified! Yes, water conducts electricity, leaving it weak to future lightning type attacks. Conductive characters take damage whenever lightning type attack is used. Hell yeah. Characters with contact damage deal a bit of elemental damage whenever they land or receive a melee attack. That's cool, that's nice. All right, well, all right, let's record this elfless. And then do we have Do not have a ranged electric attack, so we'll just do an electric smack on you. We'll take that contact damage, no problem.
Ooh. Water conducts electricity, increasing the scope and range of lightning types attacks. Lightning attacks and characters with multi target target the whole team. That's pretty rad. Oh, ooh. Yes! Nice. In order to hide their true emotions, Elfless fashion crude smiling masks out of creep art. Unsubstantiated rumors claim that there is one day a year where all Elfless will assemble together to replace their old masks with new ones. Call this guy helpless. There we go. No! <laughs> I hate this. You need to watch Stranger Than Fiction with me. My fiance won't watch Stranger Than Fiction with me. He doesn't believe that it's good. I refuse. <laughs> Listen. No. Huh? It's always been my dream to join the Rangers. I can't let that dream end now. Oh. Huh? Oh god. Ooh, okay, this thing's weak against plastic attacks. Swap out. Swap out for Wultergeist. Yeah! The internal harmony of astral types can be thrown into disarray by exposure to the impure elements, plastic, poison, and metal. Fight it! Um. Man, starter grade is strong. So is uh, so is Jam, man. Strong good grade, yeah. Strong good grade. Pulp. Don't you let your dreams be dreams. I haven't heard that in many a moon. Oh, good. All right. Yeah, let's camp. Uh... I need to tell you some stuff, and you'll probably right Irish, and you'll probably think worse of me when I'm finished. Sorry. You see, when I first came to New Wirral, I didn't live in Harbor Town. There's another settlement at the top of Autumn Hill on the East Coast. Morning Town. It's a community of people living off the land, sharing possessions, all that cute stuff. 
You've seen the folks walking around in the hooded robes, right? They seem kind of suspicious. That's them. And I guess I was one of them once. Things didn't used to be that weird there, but... The leader, Dorian, he's obsessed with archangels. Ugh. Morningtown was founded with the intent of helping everyone, but it soon just became about what he wanted. It reached a point where I didn't feel at home anymore. It was too late for me to be able to fix anything, so I ran. So I ended up in Harbor Town a year ago. I want so desperately to do right by everyone, because I've let so many down in the past. If Dorian knows about the locations of other Archangels, I need to put my fears aside and find out what he knows. The, they don't let outsiders into the commune, but they should still remember me. I think I'll be able to get us inside. Are we in this together? Are you sure you want to do this? I am. I know it'll be hard, but I want some good to come out of everything I went through. Okay. Okay, right. I'll mark the entrance to the commune on your map. Remember, they'll only let you in if I'm with you. Oh. That's, that's a little far. Alright, let's see here. Rest my hmm. team. So tell me, how do you feel about sleeping in the great outdoors? I'm more of an inside person. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Might have to get used to sleeping in a tent if you're going to be exploring the island. New World doesn't have exactly have a local hotel franchise or anything. Where's my heart? Give me my heart. Looking for a fanged creature perched on a skull, is he? Should I've seen something like that around here? I think it's called Macabre. Yeah, I, I know. I already. I'm good. I'm groovy. What are you? Are you, uh. Are you the captain? <laughs> I have the world record for Times Brenton's Spring Heel form! Alright, Masketeer's back. Masketeer's back! Musketeer takes so much damage. Musketeer. It's okay, you got jam here to. Huh. Alright, let's see if he can let's get some zoomies on him. Right, Ratatouille. Ratatouille, I forgot. Ratatouille's back. Not Mas Masketeer is what he is. Ratatouille is who he is. Alright, well, well, we'll bring Serenade out to get some, get some star experience. Whoa! Matthew learned Thunder Blast. Common. Ooh, there we go. There's our there's our ranged electric attack. Older guys learned Shooting Star. Ratatouille learned Plastic Wall. Cool.
I have so much to learn about Spring Hill. Ricochet. These users range attacks of 50% chance to ignore opponents' walls. Holy shit. Who should I give that to? I feel like Matthew might be one of my best candidates for that. circle is. What is that circle? Ricochet is pretty fucking nice, yeah. It looks like I need... Oh. There's, not, there's nothing here that's just a circle. I wonder who could learn Ricochet. serve a similar purpose. I should be uh, fucking with the environment more. Maybe it has to be a monster with that element. Yeah, that's what I thought, but there doesn't appear to be an element that's just that circle. Hey! Well... Aha! There he is! You know what really separates us from the monsters? It's infrastructure! Homes, walls, running water. It's not enough to just build a community. You gotta maintain it, too. A place like Harbor Town can fall apart without diligent care. I'm Wallace. I'm Wallace, one of Harbor Town's ranger captains. I oversee any building work on New World. I uh, said you're a promising fighter. I suppose you'll be wanting to take my ranger challenge. Not yet. See ya. Another time then. Not yet, Wallace. Yeah, one of my party members is dead. Jam is almost passed out.
mushroom here might be too tough for us. Got it. Yeah, you're finding that first monster form I gave you back on the beach when we first met. It's a banshee, right? It's a pretty cute monster form. When I've used it in the past, I had to get used to the weird sensation of floating. When I had those big hooves, I felt like I could smack monsters pretty well with those. It takes some time getting used to how each monster form changes how your own body feels. Seems to me that you're doing a cracking job at learning the ropes, though. Thanks, Kaylee. That heart. Right. I don't know if I'm ready for Captain Wallace. Feels like I'm probably still too weak for Captain. Whoa! So I'm probably still too weak for Captain Wallace, but I'm curious to see how I'll handle him. Uh, is Barrel still here? Yeah, Barrel's still here. Nice. Alright. I can save. Hmm. Uh, wait. I should at least... See ya. What's what's my party layout right now? Oh, yeah. Rat Ratatouille's not ready for this fucking gym leader fight. We will, we will put Mothew out to start. I'll do this with Matthew. Hmm. All right. I'll be training as a strong foundation. You're gonna need to be tough if you want to bring down my wolves. I forget what I what my fucking accent was, but I know it wasn't a regular American oh accent. My. Ooh. Strap a crab. Okay. Ooh. And a Berserkia. Yeah, melting a plastic type monster with a fire type attack it releases noxious fumes, changing it to poison type. <laughs> poison wall, that's fun. Plastic is an insulator in a sub. Plastic type attacks can limit the scope of lightning type attacks. Oh, fun! Attacks from characters with a unit target that normally target a whole team only affect a single target. And attacks that are normally single target have reduced accuracy. Um, what, uh. What's Poison Week against again? Fire. Poison is only weak against fire. that damn right, let's just let's just taunt Wallace here oh god it was unwise of me to. Ooh, oh boy. 
Uh. Yikes. Okay. Um. Alright, let's swap to Wultergeist. And, uh, we'll bring out Sirenade. Oh, I never found the... Ooh, and I can fuse now. Fusing seems like a good idea, honestly. Let's do it. Woolnade! <laughs> cool. Ooh. Ooh, but it's... Oh, shit, it's poison. Uh, it's poison and... Ah, oh, shit. I'm an astral type, and that's bad right now. It's bad that I'm an astral type right now. All right, well... Ooh. Yeah. I would be demolished so easily. Whoa. Oh, shit. He has Traffic Crab's evolution. That's cool. Oh, I missed! Shit. Ah! Uh, this is a bad fusion. I love that lyrics come into play. Whenever. Whenever you're fused. Like, what a great. Ah, shit! Oh, boy. Wallace. Ah! Probably should have taken care of this traffic crap first, honestly. Because I bet the Rangers only got one, you know? Throw? Oh! Uh-oh. Do I have, um... I do have a rewind. Thank goodness. Damn. Oh, but I don't have the, um... I think I can Sonic Boom now. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Oh. Yes! Nice work. Yeah! Oop! Ooh, Siren is a four star. Poison Taunt. Jam's a four star. Oh, cool. Just gives. We'll just give itself water coating. That's fun. Fluffy, learn call for help. That's great. That's a good move for Fluffy. Oh. I built up my walls. You brought them right down. Nice work. <laughs> nice work. You've earned this. Oh.
Cool. Learned elemental wall. Uncommon. Got some fused material. Olive up. A strange olive flavored soft drink that instantly levels up a character. How nice. I stumbled across that rare material while surveying the park for a building project. You'll swap it at the town hall for some neat stuff. Cool. Damn, I was, uh... Kinda hoping that, uh... You would've had a way for me to get what's in... What's hiding under here, Wallace? something to do with this rock. Oh, there you are. Oh, no. I, I did just lose access to it. I just, nope, no, no respool, no free respool for me. so dumb. It's right here. Oh, I did this the dumb way. Blood donation reduces the user's HP by half, giving it to the target. Oh, that's rad. very lucky that I survived that captain encounter because I like did everything wrong during it. I should um I should head back to Harbor Town first and see if there's any like new gossip in the daytime. at Towns Electronics. She's not at her shop at the dock. She'll be in the park. Who is if you need anything electronic? All right, where's uh, where's Doc at? Welcome. Definitely gonna buy some rewinds. And I should buy a respool. Goodbye. So my guys are just dropping, drippity dropping left and right. Stuff out of here.
I have a question for you, Thoris. It's a big one. Are you ready? Are you a dog person or a cat person? Oh, I'm a cat person. I have a cat back home. His name's Meowth. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe that means you're someone who values independence and personal space. No, Meowth's always up for my business. It could also just mean you think they're much cuter. Yeah. He was pretty cute. <laughs> he was pretty cute. Ooh, I wonder if um, actually, I'm gonna waste some wood doing this way. But if I do an upgrade, yeah, hold on, I gotta. I gotta look at my tapes real quick. Alright, Jam's very early in his four star journey. Rat Ratatouty has already made some progress towards the fourth star. Both for guys. Ooh, Fluffy's also very early. Sirenade. Ooh. I can make Sirenade a five star. I think I'm gonna make Serenade a five star. That seems like the way to do it. <laughs> Serenade learned new leaf or moon status effect from the target. And look up Serenade. Oh, there's something, does Tropic Crab have two different, like, like, remasters? I love that evolutions are called remastered, by the way. Yeah, Siren Age just has one, it looks like. I also don't have much awareness as to whether or not their singing is too loud for those around them. Wow, two, sirens are creatures from Greek mythology, most prominently appearing in Homer's Odyssey. They're described as winged bird-like women who would lure men to their doom with their beautiful and haunting song. So that's interesting. Like, Bio 2 is just like, here's here's info about the mythology that they're based off of. That's kind of fun. I can just tap the button to dash that much. Ooh, you got a rumor for me? Well, someone I know in Morningtown up on Autumn Hill says he's seen a lot of landkeepers gathering at some kind of office lately. Well, there's a landkeeper on Autumn Hill. Looks like I'll be going to Autumn Hill soon. Greetings, greetings, my eager assistant. Have you recorded our mystery monster? We're looking for a fanged creature. Excellent. The macabre is it? Yes, this indeed matches up with my reports perfectly. Hmm. Mm, recording monsters with cassette tapes that transform into them. It doesn't make rational sense, and yet we see it happening before our eyes. Our understanding of science has proven to be limited. Thank you. Thank you for your work. Here's some compensation for your time. Oh yeah, fuse material, baby. Oh, and a basic tape for my trouble. Now for your next assignment. Hmm. A young ranger recently reported a floating worm creature spotted in the park. Sounds like a task for you, no doubt. Oh, cool. It's the fucking... It's a fucking cool-ass astral thing. I've been wanting to catch one anyway. Hello, sweetie. I'm here to help distribute the organization's resources to rangers and trainees. We've got upgrades for backpacks and cassette players, passes for special training sessions. We only have limited quantities of these, so I have to make sure they don't go to waste. Sure, sweetie, the more captains you've completed your training with, the more I can give you. Oh, and I'll need a bit of fused material from you as well. What are you after, sweetie? What's fused material? Fused material? I don't even... I don't really know what it is, but for some reason, I am seems to think we need to collect a lot of it. 
Molly knows that it smells really bad and certain monsters leave it behind. Make that up what you will, dear. What have you got? Ooh. Oh, shit. That's cool. So sew this in your bag went to increase the number of rewinds that you can carry by one. Unlimited access to the gym facilities, the town hall allowing you to customize your base stats. Aha. Additional sticker stock. Ooh. Ooh. Oh shit, microphone upgrade for your cassette player. Oh, this will make your fusion mod fill faster. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Wow. Oh shit. Okay, this is all very cool. This is all very cool. I feel like... I feel like I'm doing the respool pouch first. Aha! Aha. So things get more expensive, and I also need to hang out with more gym leaders. Ta-ta! Slowly but surely earning that wood and then spending it. Hmm, okay. So now it, it would be good to head back to the, um... Head back to this area, because there's a couple of questy things I can do while I'm there. Oh, but I forgot. Forgot that I've upgraded. Oh, 
know something's going on up there. Oh yeah, I meant to... I see what I'm meant to do. I see what I'm meant to do. Oops. Hey! Go back home! The Ranger Joe thing is mine! Sorry, I'm gonna turn you into water! Oh wait, you're already water. No, no, you're not water yet. I'm gonna turn you into water! Then I'm gonna con conduct shit all over you. Yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> you are fucked. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, got got a decent amount of wood out of that actually. I should have fought you sooner. The Rangers will never hope employ me. I'm helpless. You're helpless with an helpless. That's cute. Also stupid. Um, all right, so let's see here. Should I keep should I keep GM and Matthew the team for now? Yeah, I feel like I should. GM and Matthew were doing good work. Both gonna evolve soon. Oh GM's gonna evolve soon. Damn, that didn't work. Um, I see. I see where I'm supposed to do what from. So I gotta just take the long way around. Oops. All right. Let's fire this guy up. Poison me, will ya? Why this? Get out of here. Yeah, give me those resources and get out of here. Oh, actually, yeah, this is it's a good point to. Oh. I think my fiance just sneezed again. Bless you. Angel, we fought. Or Gante, right? We didn't really defeat her alone, did we? Someone had already wounded her when we found her. Even in a weakened state, she seemed so dangerous. Whoever wounded her must have been absolutely savage. I guess that makes sense. Makes me feel like us humans are pretty puny in comparison. I keep switching over to just like British instead of yeah, remaster Sirenade. Oh shit. Oh my god. Fantastic. Decibel. Very few decibels have been seen in the wild. 
Early denizens of New World whispered of seeing white dragons in the cloud, but it is unclear whether they were seeing decibels or just losing their minds. Hell yeah. Swap over the moth to the decibel. Hey, let's go. Oh, get, get, get off my get off my back. Oh shit. I went the wrong direction for this. Oh my god. I went super the wrong direction for this. Fine, we're all fine, everyone's doing great. What a good time we're having here today together. Alright. There we are, here we are. Oh, the new boy. Have we met? Hoylake was babbling on about you when he came by to pick up some parts for my shop. Have you met him? He's the worst. <laughs> you know he's not even a real scientist. Before he landed on New World, he was a data analyst. Someone needs to tell him that only wearing t-shirts that say I love science is not a personality. I'm Meredith. I'm Meredith. Enjoy being trapped on this rock forever with the rest of us until you die. It doesn't seem so bad. Uh... There's like, what, a couple hundred people here max? You run out of things to talk about pretty quick, trust me. Anyway, I just needed a breath of fresh air. Could meet me at my shop in town sometime. Yellow building on the boardwalk. I can fly too. Okay, great. There's a start of grade. So he'll provoke the starting grade. And okay, yeah. We'll do the multi smack on starting grade, and we will start recording it. Oh, did you remaster the siren? Yes, that is... I already forget the name of... Uh, Decibel. D-E-C-I-B-E-L-L-E. -E. That That is the remaster of the siren. Of Sirenade. Recording. Ooh, 10% chance. Okay, 26% chance. Sorry. Ah, that's okay. We'll try again, okay? Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, no, I I love Decibel. Great. Decibel's great. Come on, come on. Yeah. Sorry. Ah, uh, come on. Forty. Forty-two. Like that's that's like almost a coin flip. You landed on the wrong side of the coin flip. That 
Like my friend is just rude. It's a rude behavior. Recording. Hundred percent chance. Molt. T. Smack. Oh. Oh, it worked! Yes! Stardegrays are curious creatures, spending much of their time asleep in the lower atmosphere of New World. Occasionally they will float down to ground level to feed, before ascending once more using the rockets on their backs. Stardegrays are fucking... God, what am I gonna name this thing? Oh yeah, I see the rocket on its back now. You know, actually, like... It's looking a little phallic, isn't it? What are you naming it? What palaces have you seen? I don't kiss and tell. into space. <laughs> um, yeah, why am I naming this thing? It reminds me of something. It like it's like a half-life monster or like I'm just gonna name it Kraid. It's a Metroid reference. It's a little. It's not exactly Kraid, but. That's where we're naming it. Oh shit, Kraid's still alive. Alright. Even if an attack buffs it, it's, it's dying right here, so... Whew! Yeah! Alright, cool. So those are those. Um, Alright, I guess I should just head back. to do here now. First things first, let's go talk to the professor. Oh, there's a rumor. Hmm. I've been told that there's a monster wearing diving gear that grants you the ability to swim in any waters if you record it. Cool. Greetings, my eager assistant. Have you recorded our mystery monster? Oh. Yes. My, my, the star degrade is it? Why would you want to transform into this thing? I do not know. Truth be told, I don't want to transform into any beast. I don't understand how this technology works, and I'd rather not experiment on myself. I'm perfectly happy leaving the monster transforming to others, which reminds me, here's a reward for your efforts. Ooh. Material tape is an annoying habit of sometimes passing through other objects. Tiny pinpricks of light, like far off stars, can be seen through its surface. It's a very high efficiency rate when used to record astral type monsters. Well, that is rad. That's cool. Well, the next rumor I've heard sounds too bizarre to be true. There are claims of a winged rabbit spotted on Autumn Hill. Surely it's someone pulling my leg, having a laugh, maybe engaging in a jest of sorts. If you can get to the bottom of this one, you'll be a better scientist than I. I've got the hiccups. Nope, more 
rumors. Hmm. I had a rumor that the ground under New World Park sometimes trembles as if a large vehicle is passing underground. What do you think's down there? Um, hmm. That's a great question. Hers, yeah. Oh, cool. Oh. Oh, you again. I had something to ask you. Are you really going to be searching for a way off this island? Yo! I almost admire your optimism. Well, if you're going to be doing the whole travel across the land thing, can you look out for something for me? Sure. What are you uh... looking for? Some a music record. Do you know what that is? Of course. Why wouldn't I? Okay. Okay, cool. It's uh, hard to know who, what, who knows what around here. Not everyone comes from similar worlds. It makes it pretty hard to talk to people. Harder than usual, even. Why is this man, why is the scientist man just Riz Darby to you? Uh, you know, I didn't make that connection, but I guess he just has a vibe. Anyway, the record, it's an album. All I Ever Needed by The Witch House. Maybe you've heard of it? I used to listen to it back in my previous life. It has sentimental value, okay? There's a few music nerds in Arbortown. Reckon you could ask around for me? Yeah, I'll ask. As long as the question mark appears above their heads. is pretty cool. Ah. Yeah. I know, this town's old, it's been around for a long time. You're old, you've been around for a long time. Talk to these people. I just want to find her. This. Oh, have I talked to you? Hmm. My recent arrival. I've been here 20 years. Eventually, the novelty and strangeness of it all will just become a part of everyday life. Why, I barely even think about the fact that I live on an island populated by giant monsters. Yeah, that's cool. Fucking CD. Do you know where Meredith's CD is? Welcome. Not now. <laughs> oh, what if I say yeah? Do, do you tell me a new thing? No, that's an old thing. Okay, what was that? What's the noise? <laughs> I wonder if um if the people with Mer the people that know what Meredith's up to is like on the other side of Harbor Town. Hello. I'd say that I make all the clothes in Harbor Town, but for a while now the Rangers have been delivering clothes to us from the abandoned mall in the north. I just clean and repair them.
I don't. I won't sell you any clothes, though. Not interested. I feel like. Like that's kind of like an annoying like I feel like that's almost kind of a sequence breaking thing where I could if I'm lucky enough land there oh shit I do need that jump though This is not going to work. Oh. Ah, yeah. <laughs> no. But maybe... Maybe I can still make it without that barrel. Yeah, that's definitely not how I'm supposed to do it. It feels like I'm at least supposed to, like... I know that there's, like, some sort of upgrade I'm supposed to get to be able to, like, traverse better or, like, you know, like, have better stamina or whatever. Aw. Oh. Yeah. Not yet. It's not the time yet. Is there like a doorway there? No, no, that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Um, yeah, well. It's, it's one, let's look at my party. Um, Got jam, jam the uh, the traffic crab. Pretty close to five stars. I've seen what one of his evolved forms looks like, but it looks like he can have an additional evolved form, so I'll try to go for that one. Um, Decibel, Decibel the Decibel. Um, yeah, God. She's cool. Um, I got Ratatouille. Kind of just slowly but surely building up Ratatouille's stars. Yeah, I feel like Ratatouille's just going to feel kind of weak until suddenly he evolves and he's a badass. So I just got to keep, keep Ratatouille in the party. Wultergeist. Uh, it's... It's my it's my starter and he's evolved and he's great. Got Fluffy. Fluffy's also slowly but surely on its way to a uh, to an evolution. And we want to keep keep Fluffy around for that. Fluffy is a dandelion. Finally, Matthew, who has recently evolved into a Wingloom, got really cool electricity abilities. Setting up like cool combos by like um, by having Jam turn things into water and then Matthew conduct electricity off of the water monsters. Like great, good, good shit. Uh, 
But yeah, that's that's my team. That's my team. We've also got I guess I have to hang out. Defusions. Oh, cool. <laughs> wow. Wow, there's there's a database. <laughs> I've seen six fusions out of 14,400 fusions. And I've formed four of them. Of course, Dandy Nade, my fusion of Deadly Line and Sirenade, the Hyper South Paw, Macabulous, formed by fusion of Macabre and Elfless, Traffinade. Yeah, like Dandy Nade and Traffinade, like, you know, managed to look like different enough from each other, even though that's clearly the same head. Wingtergeist, Wingloom and, Wol and Woltergeist uh, fusion. And Woolnade, Sirenade, and Woltergeist fusion. What's funny is that I won't see any Sirenade fusions after this because I have remastered Sirenade. And I'm sure, uh. I'm sure. Um, Decibel and Woltergeist will have, like, a, a different enough looking. You should I, I eventually do that. So much love into this game, yeah, right? Like, man. Um. Oh yeah, but hold on, where are some of the other things that I caught? Um, I caught the macabre. All right, Dominoth evolved into Wingloom. Toku sex cool. I wonder what it evolves from. Alright, I, I have a Squirey. I've recorded a Squirey. Um, fucking... Eugene has a Cloxley. And I, I've, I have an Elfless also. And his name is Will Ferrell. And I just got the starter grade. Oh yeah, and this boss here came and helped me for no... Well, not for no reason, because I asked. Ah, yes. And the Archangel Morgante. <laughs> ah, this game's so cool. This game's awesome. Um... Yeah, I would absolutely do a full playthrough of this. Um, yeah, assuming... Um, next week... Um, sometime next week, I'm going to be doing my... My docket stream. I'm going to be doing... I'm going to be doing the stream where I decide... Uh, what games I'm playing next. And that'll include uh, my first full playthrough that's over... Th that's my first full playthrough of a game that's over 30 hours long since I started streaming again. Um, yeah. I, uh, it's, I'm calling it the Big Boy Tournament. I've been working on it. Um, this is kind of the... Uh, this is kind of the rough draft of, of what you can expect. Um, uh, you know, I'll do, I'll be doing a bracket of eight, but there'll also be some preliminary rounds where I decide what's going into the bracket. This is one of the preliminary rounds. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, this this is what I've been working on. I'm I'm pretty excited about it. Um, and sometime next week, I'll be doing the big boy tournament and also deciding uh other games I'll be playing. 
Um, like, uh, like I'll be citing both like older games that I'll be streaming on Mondays and I'll be listening to, you know, to viewer suggestions for that. In addition to adding some of my own stuff. Um, and I'll also be going through, um, the, the list of upcoming 2023 games, um, and deciding what games I will stream as they come out. Um, and I'm specifically doing that after Summer Game Fest is done, after the Microsoft presentation is done. Um, so, you know, next week is the earliest I'll be doing that, but next week is also the latest I'll be doing that. And I still have to figure out what day I'm doing it. I'll probably pop into my Discord and see when the most people will be available to view that stream, because obviously have a decent amount of heads in here voting, then then the big boy tournament's gonna go badly. <laughs> like if there's only three people voting on each game, then you know. Then the winner's gonna be what two people want to see me play. It's not very productive. Um but yeah, so there's a possibility that next Monday I'll be doing this, I'll be doing the docket stream. But if that's not the day that I do the docket stream, then then I think I'll play more Cassette Beast. Cassette Beast is, is really cool. So uh, so yeah, I, I, might, I might be doing a full playthrough of Cassette Beast and doing that like around uh, whatever else I schedule. Um, yeah. Yeah, that is the tentative plan. Um, yeah. Okay. That's uh that's today's stream. Thanks for everyone that watched. Thanks for everyone that came in. Um Yeah. It was uh it's really nice to stream this. Um Yeah, I had fun. Had a good time. Um Big decisions. Yeah. Yeah, no, I am. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really excited. I'm really excited for this coming week and next week. Um this Friday, uh this Thursday is Summer Game Fest. I'm not streaming on Thursday, but on Friday, um is uh is a stream where I will uh I will be on stream with my with my Summer Game Fest impressions. And I'll probably be playing like something cool that Shadow dropped during Summer Game Fest. Um, oh, I should make some quick predictions. Um, I should make some quick predictions. Um, uh, I, I I've had a bunch. I've had a bunch of predictions. Let me um. This might not be super quick, but bless you, Devin. My fiance, he keeps sneezing. Okay, hold on. I gotta pull up the, uh... Okay, let's see here. Um... Um, all right. So we kind of look at the partners here. Disney's going to be there. EA is going to be there. Activision, Amazon Games, Annapurna, Bandai Namco. All oh, right, Bandai Namco. Um, so I think, uh, 
I think the follow-up to Jump Force is going to be announced with a 2024 release date. Like, uh, like whatever, like basically the next like Shonen Jump crossover game that'll have like, you know, like a bunch of different um, anime characters in it, like Dragon Ball characters and My Hero Academia characters and and Bleach characters and One Piece characters, you know, basically just a bunch of Shonen Jump characters all fighting each other. I think that game is going to get revealed at Summer Game Fest or at the Xbox presentation. Um, one or the other. Um, I, uh, yeah, I think that'll be a big Bandai Namco reveal. Um, Behavior, Capcom. Um, I don't think Capcom is going to show the next Street Fighter Six DLC character. I don't think they're going to show Rashid. I think they're saving that for Evo. And I think Rashid is going to shadow drop at Evo. But I do think that they might um they might announce like what the Street Fighter 6 battle pass is going to be like and like launch the Street Fighter 6 battle pass. I think that's something they might do at Summer Game Fest. Um Day of the Devs, right? Um I think that um uh Um, rather, I know that Greg Lobanov's next game is going to be there. Um, uh, Greg Lobanov is... I make myself a bit smaller, actually, for a second. Um... Greg Lobanov is the guy that made Chicory um, and the guy that made Wander Song. And uh, I don't know what he's going to make next, but I think it's going to be very cute. I think it's going to be really creative and interesting. I'm really excited to see what he's making next. Do you think we'll see any Gen we'll see any Kingdom Hearts news or any Genshin slash Honkai news? Um, Genshin and Honkai, probably. Uh, it might just be like, here's a new character that's coming to Honkai, right? Um, I thought that Honkai, I thought that the Honkai Star Impact PlayStation version of the game was going to shadow drop during the PlayStation showcase. It wasn't even mentioned. So I think it might be a while before that's ready, but they'll probably show off like a Honkai character or something. And will we see any Kingdom Hearts news? Um, I really, really want Kingdom Hearts 4 to show its next world, but I think that's wishful thinking. I think, I think that's not happening yet. I think they're waiting for um I think they're waiting for Final Fantasy 16 to come out before they show off any uh any big new any of their other big ass projects, right? Before they really show us too much Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth stuff before they show us any Kingdom Hearts 4 stuff. I do think that uh Kingdom Hearts could show up uh, and it'll be the mobile game that's about to come out. Um, I do think that the Kingdom Hearts mobile game could show there with, like, a release date. Um, yeah, because that's supposed to come out this year, and apparently the closed beta has been happening for a while. Um... um See so yeah, what else we got here. Oh yeah, Devolver's doing like a Devolver direct. Um they they're weirdos, so it's hard to know what they'll actually bring. But I'm sure it'll be cool. Disney will be there. So maybe they'll show off a new Marvel project, maybe they'll show off a new Star Wars project. Hard to know for sure. Um, <laughs> Magic the Gathering is a partner. So I guess they'll... I guess they'll send the Pinkertons to shut down the event. But I don't know, maybe they'll show off a Magic Arena expansion or something. Or like a new Magic the Gathering video game. 
they they're working on a Magic the Gathering MMO at one point, and I think it got canceled. Um, I think Netflix is actually going to have a pretty big showing there. I think they're going to be like, hey, here's between one and three like AAA games that we've been working on for the past few years. Um, you know, they're gonna they're gonna launch. They're going to come out for consoles, but you can also just, like, play them if you have a Netflix subscription, like, off of a mobile app or something. Yeah, I think Netflix is going to have a big showing. I think I think at least one of them will just be, like, an original Netflix IP, like a brand new IP. But I also think that, you know, they will also leverage their existing IP, something like... Like, uh... Like, I've predicted before that there'll be, like, a really tone-deaf, like, Netflix game announced of its own franchise, of its own property. And I've I've always said a Squid Game video game would be, would be a big one there. I think they could announce a Squid Game video game here, actually. I've also joked, I've also half-joked, like, a Jeffrey Dahmer video game. Um, uh, other candidates I think could be there are, uh, a Wednesday game, um, a physical 100 game, but maybe it's too soon for that. And maybe a the circle game. Those, those are, those are some thoughts of like Netflix stuff that could be there. Oh, my cut out for a minute? For a few seconds? Um, what was I talking about when it cut out? Squid Game game would be fire. <laughs> I don't know if I want it. Um, I was talking about the Squid Game game? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I think it could happen. That's, that's basically... Um, Sega will be there. Sega will be there, and um, there's been a leak, and the leak is that uh, that the next Persona game is probably going to be announced at Summer Game Fest or the Xbox Showcase. Uh, specifically, what was the initial? Um, Persona T. Uh, the web the the web domain persona t.jp got leaked and uh and the person that f- the people that found the leak were basically like every time every time one of their website domain leaks and like it's been updated recently uh the the game that it's attached to is revealed within like a week of that leak and it and at least like two or three days ago. So basically, basically, it's probably gonna happen at one of the presentations this week. And I've had some thoughts about what Persona T could stand for. Um, I guess kind of the one that feels the most obvious to me is Persona, per, sorry, Persona Five T specifically, Persona Five T dot JP, and uh. And I have a few thoughts about what Persona 5T could stand for. Uh, the most obvious one to me is, like, Persona 5 Tactics. Um, like, yeah, just just a just a tactics game with Persona 5 characters. Um, could be interesting. I'm sure Sean would be fucking pumped about it. Um, the second one is Persona 5 Tournament. Uh... And that's that's what they'll call the Persona Five fighting game instead of Persona Five Arena. I really want this to be the case. Um, there have been so many Persona Five spinoffs that they could uh, they could have a really cool fighting game roster, like just pulling from Persona Five. But hopefully, they also have Persona Four and Persona Three characters in there. That one seems a bit like wishful thinking. That one seems a bit like I just my I'm just begging the universe for that to happen. Um, And, uh, and the third one, 
uh, that the T could stand for is Persona 5 2 TWO. And I think literally it could just be like a direct sequel to just just another another Persona 5 JRPG uh, that directly follows the events of, of Persona 5 and its its spin-offs. Persona 5 2 would make me so mad. <laughs> well yeah, because it's um because it's like a whole new development team that's supposed to be working on Persona 6, right? Like the like the Persona guy was like, okay, I'm done with Persona. I'm I'm working on Project Re Fantasy or whatever. Um or like he's or what he did say was Persona, you know, I'm I'm done. I will not be making a new Persona game, right? I will not be making Persona 6, is what he specifically said. So what if like they go around that by having him supervise Persona 5 too, right? Is that like different? Is that different enough? Persona 5 Trials and Tribulations, please, for the love of God. <laughs> I do love that like Phoenix Wright and Persona have enough overlap that could work, you know, like like uh like just like Phoenix like kind of has these experiences with the occult with like with like spiritual uh you know kind of otherworldly events um so when like you know when he visits when he visits Joker in jail and Joker's like look I I can go into people's minds and like change their psyches by stealing their treasures Phoenix is like yeah I believe you actually I believe that you can do that yeah, I'll defend you in court. I'd love that. Um What else? What do we got here? Um Just want to do some big ones. Uh WB, obviously Mortal Kombat 1 is going to be there. I think they'll they'll show off uh several characters. It'll be cool. Uh I could see them like I could see them just showing like a scorpion versus sub zero fight and then being like we're going to have an invitational in a couple weeks sonic fox is going to be there he's going to he's going to kick everyone's asses with a character we haven't announced yet you know like something like that um S sony's showcase is technically part of the Summer Game Fest. So I don't know if Sony's going to show much new at Summer Game Fest. I could see them showing more Spider-Man 2 footage, like showing like a, a like a Mysterio fight or something. Oh, Hoyoverse. Uh Hoyoverse is literally there. And that's that's Genshin and and uh and and Honkai, right? Like so they they will be there showing something. It was probably just like a new Honkai character. Um, let's see, anything, anything else that's crying out to me? Uh, it's probably obvious by now that Nintendo will not be present as part of this event. Um, The Xbox Showcase, uh, I think it'll be cool. Um, I wonder if they'll do the thing again where they're like, they're like, we're going to show you the next year's worth of stuff. If they do, I hope that Rare's game Everwild is real, and I hope that they show something from Everwild. I've been really interested about what Everwild's deal is, so I hope we find out more this weekend. Um, I think that the Xbox showcase will, uh, will announce an Xbox version of Final Fantasy VII Remake, and that it's coming, a remake integrate specifically for, like, Xbox series, and that it's coming to Xbox Game Pass. Oh! Here's, here's one, here's one I'm tossing out there. Um... And I, I mentioned this during my Sony predictions, but I think this will happen at Summer Game Fest or Xbox. Um, 
I think the Hades 2 early access is going to shadow drop um, at either Summer Game Fest or Xbox Game Showcase. If it's at the Xbox Game Showcase, uh, game like uh, the Hades 2 game preview will be coming to Xbox Game Pass. Like you'll be able to play the early access version on Xbox Game Pass on console and PC as soon as it comes out, and it will come out after the presentation's over. That's uh, that's my big guess. That's my big guess. Um, I think Sega could also show off some of the Yakuza spinoff um, at either Xbox or uh, or Summer Game Fest. Persona Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Um, Genshin for Switch. We will never get it. Yeah, I think that. I think Genshin for Switch got quietly canceled years ago. I think they realized that uh, that the Switch was not powerful enough to run Genshin on it, which is why they didn't even announce a Switch version for Honkai. They just didn't bother. Um, I think. Uh, I think when we eventually get the Switch Two which could be as soon as next year. I think they'll put Genshin or Honkai or both on that. But uh but yeah, no no Genshin for Switch ever. I don't think. Um yeah, and obviously there's a lot that I didn't touch on. There's a lot of companies here that I didn't make predictions for, but uh that's that, that's my Cliff's notes. That's um Yeah, that's that's the that's the short version. Um, yeah, I, I am excited. I think it'll, Ooh, um, no, never mind. Wait. Yes. Mind. One last prediction. There will be a trailer for the knuckles, the echidna paramount plus series. There'll be a trailer for that. It might be just a teaser trailer without much like without much actual footage of CG Knuckles. <laughs> Knuckles Echidna. Um but I think it'll be there. I, I think it'll be at least brought up. It's too soon to show any of the Sonic 3 movie. Will he reference grapes? <laughs> Not in the trailer. Not in the trailer. Oh god, there's <sighs> I'm gonna be here for another ten minutes if I if I explain that bit. Um, but I guess, I guess the short version is that one of Sean's favorite facts, uh, that he's been quoting for years is that Knuckles the Echidna's favorite food is grapes. And, uh, and his mom would use that to get him to eat like grape flavored medicine and stuff. She'll be like, oh, it's Knuckles the Echidna's favorite and make him, and make him eat it. So he's like, so like... So before we watched the Sonic 2 movie, Sean was like, hey, did you know that Knuckles the Echidna's favorite food is grapes? And I'm like, yes, yes, I do know that. You tell me that every year. Uh, and then and then partway through the movie, Sean goes to get a snack and he comes back with a bowl of grapes. And he's like, I got to eat Knuckles the Echidna's favorite snack for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And I'm like, oh, my God. And then at the end. And then there is one point in the movie, like near the very end, where Sonic is like telling Knuckles that ice cream is great. And Knuckles just goes, can you put grapes in it? <laughs> and we like cried laughing for like the three of us cried laughing for like the next five minutes. But then ever since then. Uh, Knuckles in all forms of media has brought up how has brought up how much Knuckles loves grapes. There's uh there's like Sonic there's uh you know like that Sonic Twitter takeover that they do on on Twitter and like on YouTube like every year on um, the one they did the one they did for Sonic Frontiers Knuckles brings up how much he loves grapes and uh and there's there's just like promotional material for the Sonic 2 movie that just like has footage of CG Knuckles being like, I do not care for Earth, but I love the grapes. Uh, so yes, yes, he's gonna fucking reference grapes in the Sonic 
in the Knuckles the Echidna series. I don't think he's going to reference them in the trailer. I don't think he's going to reference them in the trailer that shows up at Summer Game Fest. But yes, grapes will factor into the Knuckles series somehow. Because whoever's writing for Knuckles really wants us to know that Knuckles loves grapes. It's Sean. Sean has been writing for the fucking Knuckles series this whole time. Anyway, those are my predictions. My throat's getting a little raw. My throat's been raw since I started. I don't know why. <laughs> it's Sean. Um. But yeah, I uh. Yeah, thanks for thanks for watching, everybody. Good stream, good times. Um, I'll see you on Friday. Um. Yeah, if Summer Game Fest had some cool announcements. I'll just be honest with you I'm talking about them, maybe playing a Shadow Drop or two. If Summer Game Fest was underwhelming or boring, then maybe I'll just play more Street Fighter VI World Tour or something. Maybe I'll just keep playing Popeye. I played a little Popeye off screen, um, but maybe, you know, if I do pick that back up on stream, I'll just replay any cutscenes you guys missed out on. You know, I'll just replay Popeye and DJ dancing together so that you didn't miss out on that. But okay, I'm uh, I'm gonna go now. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good night.